Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Friday and welcome to Atari's Belly, which yes, is beige. Beige and, and chonky and fluffy. Oh, chonkies. Chonky kitty. And we've got a pixel here as well. <laughs> welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. Make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. <laughs> bye bye, cats. Uh, or you're missing half the picture. We are on the air. And welcome to everybody, and thank you, Nathan Strum, just subscribed, just made it, had to pick up dinner. Nice. Good timing, <laughs> and uh, Nathan Strum is up to nine months now, which qualifies him for the nine-month uh, little and icon little there. rainbow uh, zero-page icon. Yeah. Like yeah. So tonight is the exciting <laughs> nomination <laughs> announcements on real paper here, because it's just more convenient. Um, so we're going to announce uh, the nominees for the 2019 Atari homebrew awards mm. these are all the games that were made in 2019 in atari 2600 games 7800 and 8-bit 5200 games mm. uh i want to thank all the twitch subscribers including nathan strum who just resubscribed uh cafe man 2d captain classic charles and check coconut 81 ground trooper ice boasted johnny wc 23 carl g croco 2600 mk smith mr fix rc70 repentless vg six suite Sir Cat Leg, Spartan 581, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K, and Zach Scolero. Nice. Tripped up on the last <laughs> one. And welcome to Hello. everybody who's watching yeah, uh, live. Yeah, quite a few names there. Today That's cool. On yeah. Twitch. Um, we've got Chive 574, Raymond C, Nathan Strum, Dan AVC, Smitty B7800, who I'm guessing likes 7800 games. <laughs> uh, Dan AVC, Spinley1970, Ronister Official, mm -hmm. uh, and P1LH4. And just snuck in Carl G. <laughs> um, so you can support the show uh, and subscribe for free and get your uh, name on that list I said before. Uh, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And if you don't want to do that, click follow and you'll be notified when we go on the air. And make sure you subscribe and click on all the things. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter where I post things and update things. Oh, let's not pause the chat. There we go. And Span Splendid Nut and Azure 6502 just joined us. Um, so there's no poll question and there's no mail news and feedback. We're just going to get right into it. Mm. The lights look super bright. Um, yeah, we've been fiddling with the camera settings and a little bit bright. Um, we've got a new camera. We've got new settings for the camera. So over the course of months, it'll get more and more and more refined. Hmm. Um, so is it is a little, a little overexposed? Over. A little yeah, white? I didn't touch anything from the last from last episode. Okay, and it's doing something different. So I I did turn it down, um, but uh, guys, I'll have to live with it. <laughs> um, so we're going to be announcing uh, all the eight out of the nine categories tonight, um, and that were picked by the nomination committees. Um, Atari seventy eight hundred didn't have enough games to warrant a nomination committee. Okay. Because there's only three games completed in 2019 for okay. Atari 7800. A very short list. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> but we had a bunch of helpers uh, whittle down the, you know, hundreds of games mm -hmm. down to the top 10 nice. of each category. Nice. Um, so I do want to thank all those people by name. Um, so for the Atari 2600 uh, crew of nomination uh, committee members, uh, Brian Mathern, Chris Walton, Dave D, John Shampo, Daryl Spice Jr., Richard Ivey, Thomas Yench, and Stephen Ramirez. Those are the Atari 2600 people. And on the Atari 8-bit 5200 si side of things, um, Adam, Kaz, Phil San, uh, Real Bounty Bob, Matosimi, TIX, 8-bit Junkie, SKR, and Bunsen. Those are all their names in the mm -hmm. Atari forums. The Atari forums. Cool. Yep. And also I want to thank the co-sponsors of the uh, 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards. Al Yarusso and Atari Age. Uh, Mark Spaces Project Argon um, for uh, sponsoring the actual awards. Which is awesome. Which yeah. is great. Yeah. And Brian Mathern's Atari 2600 Homebrew companion book series mm -hmm. which is awesome and i recently picked up the uh, rest of them that are out 
So we're going to be announcing the uh, eight out of the nine categories. We're not going to be announcing the ninth category because there isn't, you know, nominees for it, really. Um, mm. It's it's the Lifetime Achievement Award, and mm -hmm. it's just going to be given at, at the award the show. Yeah, yeah there's okay. no there's no voting on it. Okay. It's an internal thing. Okay. Yeah. Is that the nomination committee that, yes. that, that decided on that? Okay, That's right. fair enough, yeah. Um, so we're going to be announcing for Best Work in Progress for 2600. Uh, best homebrew for 7800, best packaging for 78 for 2600, best under or equal to 4K homebrew for 2600, best homebrew for the Atari 8-bit 5200, best music and sound for Atari 2600, best graphics for 2600, and the best homebrew for 2600. Nominees. Okay. And the way this worked is that we had the full list of games for the whole year. Um, and then we figured out which were works in progress that were updated. Which ended up in each category, basically. Yeah, the works in progress are their own category. Yeah. Th that they are only eligible for one, because they're not okay. done yet. Fair enough. You know, so we don't want to, you know... But in a sense, you get two shots. You get a work in progress yes. shot, and then the next year, potentially, a, That's right. a game. Yeah. So if you work on it too fast, <laughs> you can't get the work in progress. You don't get it. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, um, so you can have work in progress, or if you want to time it right, you can put out a work in progress on December 31st, and you're completed one on January, <laughs> January 1st, 1st, and straddle the line, but of course you have to wait a whole year. Yeah, that's uh, true. To, that's true. To be nominated. Um, so out of the uh, completed games, mm. uh, for 2,600, because that's what we started with last year, we just had 2,600 games, um, there's the category of... Uh, under 4K equal to or under 4K, and that's a new category this year because mm. we wanted to kind of highlight the smaller games because they kind of get lost in the shuffle sometimes of all the bigger name titles with the expansive uh, memory that is used and the, the advanced chips and things like that. So we wanted to honor the small games. Um, and also music and sound is a category, graphics mm -hmm. is a category, and then packaging as well. The, the, That's cool. The boxes, the manuals, yeah. the artwork on the cartridge itself. And then the all around, all these things added up together, best homebrew. Mm. Um, and then we also added 8-bit 5200 games this year. And also 7800 games this year. Mm. Um, so uh, we had, uh, I had some help from uh, Adam uh, compiling all of those uh, titles for the 5200 um, slash 8-bit games. And Brian Mathern uh, gathering the titles as he does all year long mm. for the 2600 cool. titles. Um, so let's get on to Yay. the names. And um, so also, if there was, like we're going for 10, the top 10. Top 10 in each, unless there were, were too few. Unless there are too few, then it's less than and 10. It's less but than we're 10. always aiming for at least 10. Okay. And if there is a tie uh, at some point that takes it over 10, let's say there's a tie three way for yeah. 10th place. Yeah. So it'd be 10th, 11th, 12th. Yeah. Say there's a four way tie for 9th place. Uh, yeah. It'd be 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. So whatever gets it over 10. Whatever gets it over yeah, 10. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So now that you know all the rules, <laughs> or some of the rules, there's more, but. Don't have to be too concerned about yeah. those. Um, so for the best uh, work in progress, the nominees, there were 10 of them. And these are all in alphabetical order. Uh, or they should be. Uh, <laughs> Make sure they are before you read they them. They are, yeah. Uh, is uh, Avalanche by John Champeau uh, from Champ Games. Uh, Bag Boy by Kevin Kelly. Uh, Kev Kelly on, on the Atari Age forums. Uh, Cannon Head Clash by Blue Swimmer, uh, DK Arcade 2600 by Michael Haas, uh, Ice Bosta, and also Bite Knight, Ninjish Guy in Low Res World by Vladimir Zuniga, aka John Von Neumann, uh, aka VHZC, mm -hmm. Penalt by Carl Garrison, Carl G, Robot City by Thomas Yench, Sokobu, aka Sokoban, by Andrew Davey, Tower of Rubble by Dion Olsthorn, Dionoid, and Zookeeper by John Champo from Champ Games. Mm. Yeah, 
congratulations, mm -hmm. uh, Chai Vasang, mm -hmm. to Carl G, who is in the chat tonight. So congratulations. Um, now for the 7800 Best Homebrew, we've got uh, three entries. So all three are automatically entered in. Um, so congratulations to all three. Mm -hmm. Everybody who released a game. Um, Ricky and Vicky. No, these are not in alphabetical order. Uh, so I'll just read them out. Rick and Vicky by uh, Penguinette, a.k.a. Tail Chow. Uh, Baby Pac-Man by Bob DeCredenzo. DeCredenzo? Crescenzo, maybe? Crescenzo? Yeah. Bob DeCrescenzo. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, uh, we're going to have a few issues like that, I have yeah. a feeling. Pac-Man Plus. Yeah. Uh, he's known as in the Atari H forms. Uh, Draker Quest 2 by Clark Otto, a.k.a. Frank O. Dragon. Nice. Congratulations those to those. Those are the three 7800 homebrews. Yeah. And I, I'm yeah. wondering why there's not many 7800 homebrews, and I'm thinking it's because there is no um, multi-cart. There's no SD-based card. It does card. make it harder to get it out to people and people who want to play yeah. it on the machine itself, right? Or test so. it. I mean, you yeah. can test it in emulators, but um, yeah. I'm thinking that's it? I yeah. don't know. Maybe it's harder to program. Mm. Or maybe you have to make more extensive programs. Like mm. it's it's on the in the same era as the NES, um, which take a lot longer to program mm. because there's more graphics and people expect more from it, I guess. Um, so uh, for the next category, Atari Twenty Six Hundred Best Packaging, there's um, ten. Uh, a Roach in Space by Vladimir Zuniga, aka John von Neumann, VHZC. Aardvark by Oscar Toledo Gutierrez, Nano Chess. Uh, Thomas Yench Coding, Nathan Strum Graphics. Uh, Amoeba Jump by Dion Olsthorn, a.k.a. Dionoid. Dragon's Descent by Todd uh, Fermansky, a.k.a. Revan Tooley. Galagon by Champ Games. J. Oh, I had in my face? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> no, no, I have a piece of paper. Uh, Jay Walker by Ross Atkin, a.k.a. Titus Renegade. Pro Golf by Edward A. Smith. Uh, Rally Racer by More Work Games. Spaceman Splorf, Planet of Doom by Andreas Gustaf, Gust, Gustaf, Gustafsson. Gustafsson, yep. uh, SDW. And Evanja Utni. And Wizard of War Arcade by Champ Games. Welcome, VHZC. You've been uh, nominated already for two, uh, two awards <laughs> for Best Work in Progress and Best Packaging, if you miss those. Brazil is in the house. Welcome, Woo! Heber Martins. <laughs> uh, the next category is Atari 2600 Best Homebrew Under 4K. Uh, and there's 10. And you can read that Thank out. you. I was going to say, do I get to read any of them or do I <laughs> just get to sit, sit there? Here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Atari 2600 Best Homebrew uh, Under 4K and Under? Is that what it means? Equal. 4K and Under. That's a better yeah. way of putting it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rather than equal um, or less than. Equal, yeah. Less than or equal to. Yeah. Um, Amoeba Jump by Dion Orsthorn. Uh, Dianoid. Uh, Arcade Pong by David Galloway. Uh, DJ Mips. Caverns by Harold Thyssen. <laughs> These, this, the, this Thyssen? Thyssen? I, 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 Thyssen? I, I, I don't there know. There may be no J in there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Death Race by Michael Salzman. Uh, Do Re Mi by Vladimir Zuniga. Uh, A.K.A. John von Neumann, VHZC. Another nomination. Uh, Dog Walk by Vo Voita or Voitja. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Newly. Uh, Hugo Hunt 4K by Angel Soft. Miss Galactopus by Rick Pryor, Kiro Yojimbo. Kiru? Kiru Yojimbo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Space Game 2K, 2 kilobytes. 2 kilobytes, yeah. <laughs> uh, by Carl Garrison, Carl G. And he's in the chat. Yay. Congratulations, Carl G. Yeah. And Water Diver by Zed Dan. Yep. I hope I, I didn't mangle those too, too much. Yep. <laughs> um, so that was Atari 2600 Best Home Grew uh, Less Than or Equal to 4K. And the next one is for Atari 8-Bit 5200 Best Home Brew. Yes. So uh, the first one is Adventure Ponies by Gibstove or Gibstove. Uh, Burks 4 by John Williams. Castle Defender by Martin Matosimi Smechek. Again, I might be mangling that. Yeah. 
Uh, Gravity Worms by Chris Christoph XXL Dudek. Uh, Imogen by Michael St. Aubin uh, and Frantzek Fandal Hura. A lot of uh, Eastern European names. <laughs> A lot of different names. Yeah. Uh, Jet Set Willy 2019 by Terence Tez Derby. Monty on the Run by Jason Perkins. Merrick Konop Konopka. Konopka? <laughs> I, mangling, mangling. Oh, welcome, Pac Man Plus. You Hello. were nominated for Best Homebrew Atari 7800 for Baby Pac Man. Congratulations. Yes. Atari 8-bit was huge in Poland, he, uh, he <laughs> says. That's why there's yes. lots of Zs and Ys yeah. in these names. Yeah, I have to work on my Polish. <laughs> um, Rescue Expedition. Uh, they, they by Camel George Trez, Treska. Uh, Michael Caruso Brzezicki. Krzysztof Kaz Zim, Zimbik. Mangling. <laughs> uh, Star Vagrant by Rafal Madrafi Semko. Uh, Rafal Bro Bronu. Glad you're doing these ones. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bron Brunurek. We'll try to get them before the show. Let's yes. let's we'll get some pronunciations. Uh, Michael Caruso Brzezicki and Christoph Kaz Ziembik. I think I'm saying it different every single time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Wasteland by Michael Jezkula. So congratulations yes. to those people. Those were for the Atari 8-Bit 5200 Best Homebrew. Yes. Uh, the next category is Atari 2600 Best Music and Sound. And the nominees are A Roach in Space by Vladimir Zuniga, a.k.a. John Von Neumann, VHZC, who is in the chat. Mm -hmm. Congratulations again. Aardvark by Oscar Toledo Guterres, Nano Chess. Thomas Jentsch for coding, and Nathan Strum for graphics. Amoeba Jump by Dion Olsthorn, a.k.a. Dionoid. Daredevil by Lewis Hill, a.k.a. Muddy Funster, for Muddy Vision. Evil Magician Returns 2 by Todd Holcomb, a.k.a. Bite Knight. Galagon by Champ Games. Miss Galactopus by Rick Pryor, a.k.a. Kiro Ujimbo. Spaceman Splorf, Planet of Doom, by Andreas Gustafsson, a.k.a. SDW and Van, Vanja Utne. Probably Vanja. Vanja. Yeah, Probably Vanja, Vanja. Utne. Spies in the Night 2, by Jared Gray West, a.k.a. Gray West. The End 2600, by Carlos Raymond C., a.k.a. Raymond C. Water Diver, by Zed Dan. Wizard of War Arcade, by Champ Games. Mm -hmm. So that was Atari 2600, Best Music and Sound. And it was great meeting you as well, Pac-Man Plus, uh, at PRG. Mm -hmm. um, so the next category... Oh, VHSC, I made the cartridge and manual art for um, Evil Magician Returns too. Great game. Oh, and what was... Uh, Evil Magicians 2... Evil Magicians 2... Oh, oh that didn't make it for best packaging, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking, checking... Um, so the next one is... You want to do that one? Sure. You want to do the last yep. one, I know. Uh, so the next one is Atari 2600 Best Graphics. So in on this list, we have Aardvark by Oscar Toledo Guterres, Nano Chess, Thomas Yench for the coding, and Nathan Strum for the graf graphics. Bass Fishing Tournament by Anthony Quinlan, 2600. BitQuest 2 by Brian Wayne Shea, Metal Babble. Daredevil by Lewis Hill, Muddy Funster, Muddy Vision. Dragon's Descent by Todd Fermansky for, uh, well, sorry, uh, Revan Tooley. Evil Magician Returns 2 by Todd Holcomb, Bite Knight. Galagon, Galaga by Champ Games. Spaceman Sporf, Planet of Doom by Andreas Gustafsson, SDW, and Vanya Utne. Spies in the Night 2 by Jared Gray West. Gray West. The End 2600 by Carlo Carlos Raymond C. And Wizard of War Arcade by Champ Games. So those were the nominees yep. for Best Graphics. That's right. And for Atari 2600 Best Homebrew of 2019, 
It's a 17 way <laughs> nomination. <sighs> That's a lot. Yep, yep. A lot of entries, a lot <laughs> of nominations. A... There's a big tie at the end. I was going to say, did you have, you must have had an eight way tie for 10th place. <laughs> yes, there's an eight way tie for 10th place. <laughs> You're going to have a lot of choice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the nominees for best homebrew, uh, Atari 2600, are A Roach in Space by Vladimir Zuniga, aka John von Neumann, VHZC. Congratulations again. A lot of nominations for VHZC. Aardvark by Oscar Toledo Gutierrez, Nano Chess, Thomas Yetz for coding, and Nathan Strum for graphics. Amoeba Jump by Dion Ulsthorne, aka Dionoid. Bass Fishing Tournament by Athenon Anthony Quinlade, aka 2600. Bit Quest 2 by Brian Wayne Shea, aka Metal Babble. Caverns by Harold Thiessen. Daredevil by Lewis Hill, aka Muddy Funster. Dog Walk by Vota a.k.a. Newly. Dragon's Descent by Todd Fermansky, a.k.a. Revan Tooley. Evil Magician's Return 2 by Todd Holcomb, a.k.a. Bite Knight. Galagon by Champ Games. Heist by Timothy Marsh. Hugo Hunt 4K by Angelsoft. Space Game 2KB 2K, by Carl Garrison, a.k.a. Carl G. Spies in the Night 2 by Jared Gray West, a.k.a. Gray West. The End 2600 by Carlos, a.k.a. Raymond C. And Wizard of War Arcade by Champ Games. So congratulations mm -hmm. to all the nominees for 2019 in all the categories. Mm -hmm. And um, I did a little adding up of the number of nominations okay. for each of the 2600 games because there's multiple categories. Mm. Like num number of individual nominations. Individual nominations. Or unique nominations. Unique nominations yes. for each uh, yeah. each game. So uh, four nominations each for Aardvark, Galagon, and Wizard of War. Mm -hmm. Three nominations for Aroach in Space, Amoeba Jump, Daredevil, Dragon's Descent, Evil Magician's Return 2, Spies in the Night, to the N2600 and Spaceman Splore. So that's quite a, quite a nice category of... Yeah. Excellent 2600 games we're oh, talking yeah. about here. Yeah. Uh, two, two nominations for Bass Fishing Tournament mm -hmm. and BitQuest 2. And one nomination each for Caverns, Dog Walk, Heist, Hugo Hunt 4K, Space Game 2K, Miss Galactopus, Water Diver, Jaywalker, Pro Golf, and Rally Racer. Excellent. That's so, awesome. Congratulations, and that yeah. is very true VHZC. A really hard competition. Yeah. Some amazing games that it's gonna were be hard put to out choose. in 2019. <laughs> yep. So the uh, voting is scheduled for tomorrow. Okay. We're still working on the voting software. Uh, Al and I are working on it to get it ready. Um, so it may not be midnight tonight. Actually, I can almost guarantee it's not going to be midnight tonight <laughs> uh, as scheduled, but hopefully sometime during tomorrow. And you have like. From the 18th to the 25th, so there's like eight days of voting, so there's still lots of time, and I can even extend it if there's a major delay mm -hmm. in getting the software set up mm -hmm. uh, for voting. And you're able to, uh, I believe, still just vote once in each category. Um, eventually, I'd love to get some software you're able to vote multiple times, like three times or something, mm -hmm. so that... Um, you can put your... Almost like your, your three first, favorites. second, your, or your three favorites. I, and, and even better yeah. if there's like runoff voting. It's like, oh, I want first, second, third. This is my first choice, second choice, third choice. You're getting into more complicated. More complicated, yeah. There, and, yeah. Then, <laughs> then there's cutoffs yeah. and runoffs. and uh, yeah. it, Those yeah. are fun, too. Yeah, well, yes. you know, it depends on your perspective. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's yeah. more fun from a It's more math accurate, point of view. I think, yeah, yeah, from a math point of view. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, Heber Martins, congratulations to all of the participants. Mm. Um, and so what we're going to be doing over the next couple uh, episodes, next couple streams, is playing uh, all the nominated games, as many as we can. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to be uh, doing the works in progress games tonight. Okay. Um, all of them? Yeah. How many were there, 10? Uh, I think there was just, there was 10. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're not going to play each one for too long. Okay. Just for a little just bit. Just give it a, a, a kind of, Okay. I just give it a go. And you may not have played some of them. I haven't I haven't played some of them. Yeah. Oh, John Champo is here. Welcome, John. Hello. Popped in. 
congratulations to all your nominations there. Yes. Um, so, yeah, let's jump into the uh, best works in progress. Yes, congratulations, uh, everyone, and who, who tuned in to uh, listen to all the nominations live. get announced. And, <laughs> and I'll be posting these. And all those names getting mangled throughout yes. the... <laughs> All the Polish names. Yeah, it just goes to show you it got it got put together and we just literally <laughs> found out and read it out. So that's that's yeah. how it works. But um, uh, no, excellent. Yeah, yeah, congratulations to everyone who was nominated. And I'll be posting these online after the show, uh, shortly after the show, so you can look at them yourself. Yeah, and and, and bef- not have to if, rewind. If there is a, a slight delay in getting the voting software up, then that just gives you time to play a bunch of them and, and make right. your decisions on what you want to vote for. That's right. So. You don't need yep. to vote right away, and you yep. might not have played a lot of these. Yep. And also, we're going to be posting uh, the download packs for these, mm. um, all the ROMs, as many as that are possible. Or the most up-to-date version, because some of these are released on cartridge, and we'll be releasing the most um, up-to-date version of it before the cartridge is released. Gotcha. Um, and any instructions that we have, and for the packaging, we'll be releasing graphics for each of the packaging, um, like the front cover art of the of the box, and the cartridge art, and manual art, and any goodies that were uh, put with it, because not everybody has every single game, but we still want you to vote on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's uh, start playing some of the works in progress nominations. And uh, the first one up is Avalanche. And this one might be uh, challenging because I don't have an Atari working. And it is a um, paddle game. (laughs) Mm. And this is by John Champeau. We played this game, didn't we? Yeah. This is so the not, skiing game. Nope. Oh, this I'm is, thinking of something else. This is uh, an arcade port, which was morphed into Kaboom uh, for the Atari 2600. Oh, okay. Um, oh, no. I was going to put up... You know what? I made graphics for all of this. Um, I made graphics for all the not... Oh, you can do it. Oh, no. I haven't played this game. Um, just one second. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> oh my god. So, the funny thing is, or not so funny thing, is that I made graphics for each of the nominated games. And I didn't use any of it. I just read them out. Oh! So, oh, there you no. go. I'm going to quickly go through it. I'm um, just putting up the graphics so that... Uh, Why don't you have that... Uh... Oh, no, I guess you want to see us actually play the game. <laughs> yes. It's uh, impossible to do Yeah, that's a shame. It's a shame you can't put that in the corner. It's, it would be way too small. What way is? too small. Yeah. So there is the gotcha. Best Works in Progress nominees. Well, you know what? There's the can... 7800 nominees. You can screen cap it. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be posting these after, yeah. but I'm just well. You know what? Through. You can screen cap it or just pause yeah. when you uh, oh, sure. when you bring it when you uh, post it on YouTube or when it gets posted on Twitch. You can pause it and read it out. So there you go. There we go. Best packaging. You get so excited and then you forget all the graphics. I know. I should have put <laughs> in my notes that there's graphics. That's but okay. There's the uh, best uh, 4K and under nominees. Pause if you like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here's the 8-bit, 5,200 nominees. There's the Best Music and Sound nominees. Sorry, I'm going through this really fast because I'm not going to say them all again. (laughs) There's the Best Graphics nominees. And the Best uh, nominees for Best Homebrew. And I think I got them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes. Excellent. So, pause as needed. So now we're going to play. <laughs> and we're going to switch... Uh, actually, I'll play first. Okay. And then we'll switch position because you can play with the mouse. Oh, right? I see. Yeah. Well, we have ten games to go through, so... Uh... Yeah. And we play uh, play each game like once. Sure. Each, or maybe twice if we feel It just so depends important. on the time. Yeah. Now, in general, I am not super awesome at these types of games. It's a really hard... 
hard. So getting my kaboom patch is going to be a long time coming, I think. Uh, oh. So this is. Oh. So you said this. This was an arcade game. That it morphed into. Food. Yeah, because they wanted to make it. It oh, for the twenty six hundred. Damn it. Wow. Um, but the graphics were challenging to make it perfect. I think so. They uh, opted to just kind of ch take the spirit of the game. Oh my god, it gets really hard. Way better with a paddle. Yeah. Um, so I apologize for my terrible mouse playing. How did you lose? Oh, you just lose them over time? Yes, it gets... Oh! It's an arcade game, so they want your quarters. Yeah, yeah, quarter reader. Uh, That's rough. We still see the nominees on the screen. Oh! You didn't flip it over. What, you're not seeing my excellent playing? I thought it took over automatically, but it didn't. Okay, so let's switch positions. All right. You can see Tanya play. Yay. Thank you for alerting me to that. <laughs> Can't tell if that's rain or screams. Ah, ah. Oh my goodness. This is not going well. There we are. Sorry about that. It's okay if you refer to me as a VHZC or Vladimir Zuniga without the AKAs. No problem. Just one name? Okay. I don't like this at all. No, it's neither do I. Mouse. <laughs> it's doesn't translate as well as it's a, a not, paddle. It's not moving very smoothly. Oh, oh you, your mouse is like super <laughs> sensitive. <too. laughs> yes, it is. Sorry. We've had this argument before. Because <laughs> I have to zip around like two massive screens with my mouse, so I have to have my sensitivity up really high. Yeah. And I've gotten used to it over time. And it prevents people from using my computer. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> a built-in, uh, built-in protection from. That's terrible. <laughs> this is stressful. <laughs> Sorry, it. it's not a reflection. <laughs> not a good reflection of the game. <sighs> okay. okay, you get the idea. Yeah, you get the idea. It's 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 really just shake the yeah. mouse. And frantically, yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 back and forth, back and forth. It, it just becomes dumb, dumb luck at that point when you're just going so, back and forth. So this or is what not, is most likely going to happen is you're just going to catch the ones on the edges and nothing in the middle ever gets caught. But anyway. So this is uh, a 4K game. It's even mm. got the little nice little uh, Atari Age intro with music mm. and a title screen mm. uh, with options mm. and a game. So he's That's packed quite a bit into 4K. Into 4K, yeah. Um, so when he releases it, it'll be quite a contender, I think, mm. in the 4K category. Nice. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so we will move on to uh, Bag Boy by Kev Kelly. Not that button. That one. And this one's from 0805. There we go. And this is a joystick one. Okay. So what am I doing? I have not played this game. You have to collect the carts and bring them back to uh, the grocery store. Okay. I'm gonna reset it for you. I don't know. Who am I playing? <laughs> move the joystick and you'll find out. Okay. There you go. So there's a cart. Go get it. And don't run into the cars. I guess I did. That other guy steals it. Ugh. Get it away from him and return the cart to the top of the screen. Oh, to the boss. That's what you have to do. Is that the boss? Yeah. There's lightning in this. What? So you gotta run away. Run away. Oh, oh you ran no. into a car. So it's kind of a mix between like freeway and <laughs> I don't know what oh there's a bonus it's it's in its early-ish stages but it's come along far enough that it's um, it, obviously a contender for uh, best work in progress because it's got a lot of really interesting elements I, I, I uh, okay I trouble? can't no I just it's one of these things where I guess I can't uh, No part of me can touch any part of anything else. No, except the boss. 
and he's always mad at you. He's got a Qbert like uh, uh, exclamation when he I gets like mad. He's like, ah, oh, where's the cart? <laughs> exact. Yeah. Uh, it's like Frogger. Yeah, Frogger. Yeah, more like Frogger because you can go left and right. Oh, he's less mad now. I don't really understand which is. Oh, no, it just cleared up. Oh. The, uh, the sky, oh, it's it's not. Sky cleared it's up. not raining anymore. Yeah. So this doesn't really have proper levels or lives or. It, there's no end point then. I don't it think just there's keeps an end going. Point yet. Or maybe there is, and you just haven't lost your last life. I don't know. Is all those red things my lives? Uh, the red no? Well, the points are the points. It was in the negatives. Now you're in the positive, which is good. Okay. And you've got one cart returned. Yep. But I've returned then multiple carts. I've lost carts. Now you've lost that red Oh, dot. maybe... So you can't run into those. Oh, things. no. I, I... Looks like you have unlimited lives right now. Right now, yes. Yeah. Yes, it has it's come huge. along very nicely. It, it, I, I have to say there's a lot quite a lot going on the screen, <laughs> which is really kind of neat. There is a lot. And really, Different really... Different kinds of cars. Beautiful graphics um, on the cars and the little guys. And there's a boss, and especially the lightning effects, which I love. And VHZC does some great lightning effects. And, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. uh, in this game, he um, Kevin Kelly has done some really good ones as well. Have you hit the snow level yet? I can't remember. Oh, I'm in trouble. Getting confused. <laughs> Thought I was someone else for a while there. You're still on the positives. I, this, I believe it just goes forever. Okay. So I think we've seen all the weather transitions, and it's just looped around to, to okay. nothing again. Let me give it a try. Sure. Game is true to life. Used to be a bagger at a grocery <laughs> store. And you just keep going. There's no end point. You just keep oh, picking up. Oh, there's kind of rain. Yeah. With blue. Yeah. The... Do you slide around maybe? Maybe that's... Uh, not yet. No, but... But, um, make it makes it harder, makes you overshoot. And yeah. Slide into traffic. It's like Vancouver in the last few days. Oh yeah. It's oh, not where's been... the boss? Come over oh, here. the boss ran off. The boss is looping around. Then boss you... is on break. You can't return the cart. There's a one up that I just got. Nice. Now it's cleared up. Hey, give me back my cart. There you go. So if you take too long, your points go down. If you run into a car, your points go down. If you return a cart, your points go up. And probably the faster you return the cart, the faster your points go up. That, that we haven't played sense. this in a while yeah. uh, on the show, so I forget a lot about it. Oh Oops. yeah, no, you are you are dying. Your red red yeah. on the left is your is your lo lives. lives. Yeah. yeah. But there's just no game over state yet. No. When you reach zero. No. So I don't yeah, think you. There's any button use in this game yet? No, you don't need it. And a good uh, use of flicker handling, mm -hmm. because um, when you're on the same line, I see there's two cars in the same line and the guy. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. So he's using duplication as well. Boss is practicing his moonwalk. <laughs> <laughs> How do you cope with the lightning? terms of programming or you just avoid it <laughs> i think that's it as a player you just avoid uh, it. you lose a life so um, next one um best work in progress we're gonna play cannon head clash by blue swimmer and this is a two-player game actually mm. so let me get out the second i have not played this one either you can't nope you ran off you got intimidated by the second controller coming out uh, yeah And should lock in. Good. So this is a great two-player game uh, where you're shooting uh, bombs at each other. It's by Blue Swimmer. NTSC, please. Okay, you get to pick. So two-player. Uh, yeah, let's That's play to it. nine. And are on a random level. Nothing. Do I hit the button? Yeah. Two... That one. Yeah. Just question. So it's mark? random. Yeah. And what's this? Leave that at nine. Okay. And let's play. So I'm blue, you're mm -hmm. red, you press the button to shoot, hold it for longer shots. Am I trying to kill you? Trying to hit me. You can also take away my uh, parts of my area. 
and actually trap oh! me. <laughs> Didn't know that was the thing. Yeah, water is death usually. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was <laughs> not aware of that. Ah! Yes. How did you... <laughs> you ran right into the water? No, but how, how, how are you getting height on yours? Uh, hold down for longer. Oh! That would have been nice to know. I told you right off the top. Hold it down for longer. But you were mm -hmm. listening. Oh! <laughs> too far off. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's a little too easy. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> So this is a great two-player game, and while you're uh, kind of charging up your shot, you can't move. So yeah. there's a bit of vulnerability built into it while you're uh, getting your shot ready, and a lot of... Uh, <laughs> and, and you shoot out your own... Uh, <laughs> you can shoot out your own area, too. Oh, <laughs> God. It's so funny. No, I can't get back up! Uh, oh no! <laughs> now you're sitting there. Oh no! I had you. Yeah, if, it, if the block is two pixels high, or two blocks high, you can't get up it. So you can kind of get into Oof, a little far. trap of your own making sometimes. Oh, yes. you got me. Love the sounds. Very nostalgic. Yeah, very traditional uh, noise-based sounds. Oh, you got me. <laughs> that's oh, really cute. Fireworks. Oh, that's really that's a nice. That's yeah. a nice. Uh, touch. And amazingly, 4K game with a nice mm. menu and all those different levels. Really, really good. That's really cute. I really like that. That's that's a fun game. I love any two-player yeah. games where you can play with someone. Again. Well, actually, there's a one-player. We should play that. I'll, I'll let oh, you just play to that. see. Sure. Yeah. That's the... Uh, exclamation. I can't remember what exclamation is. And the, uh, computer opponent is, is not easy. No. <laughs> not easy at all. He has pretty good shots, so just make sure... Oh, good one. Make sure you don't stay in one spot too long or while he's, uh, charging it up. <sighs> because he almost gets it all the time, so. Not all the time, but most of the time. Oh, yeah, he, he aims extremely well. Yeah. So it's best if you shoot before him and then move immediately. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does walk off the edge. So he is kind of a realistic uh, oh. type of player. Yeah, but he's got a very good aim, which is unfair. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that definitely makes it a little bit more. Got two points. Good. Yeah. Well, one he 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 dodged one of my bullets and fell right off the edge, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, just in time. <laughs> he almost got you there. Actually, allowed you to go up. He's he's pretty challenging. Holy mm. smokes. Oh. He's, he's at the you right. You kind of have to panel. shoot, move, and shoot, move really quickly. He's he pretty won. good. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. So the next one we're gonna play is DK Arcade 2600 mm. by Michael Haas, Ice Bosta, and Bite Night. Mm. Okay, I'm terrible at this game. Okay. You, go first? <laughs> you can go first. Um, Donkey Kong is not my strength. So you can play um, either Mario or what's her name in Donkey Kong? Mm. P starts with a P. 
And you can play uh, the US board arrangement or the Japanese board arrangement. Mm. So you can rescue Mario if you want. <laughs> and it's got the slanted board, which is amazing. Really well uh, laid out play field arrangement of the... Board. It's got great barrel animation. Big Donkey Kong that actually looks like Donkey Kong. But you can do this, <laughs> which is not part of the normal. What is? Being able to change direction in the air. Oh. Oh. Where's the top ladder? Missing it? No, I think I think you were having trouble yeah, lining up with it or something. Yeah. Um, I should have used the angles. The diagonals help you. You're able to use them in this game. Perfect. There you go. So you have to at least make it to uh, all the levels. level or the cement factory level how does God. how does this work i can't even remember now you have to just get up to the top oh okay yeah. oh kill by that. i'm terrible at donkey kong because it's <laughs> such a hard game it is a hard game i think it requires a tremendous amount of practice oh yeah tremendous when he's not there, and when the ladder's fully extended. Mm. The spring stage. There's definitely a lot of flicker, but it yeah. looks pretty good. Oh, oh didn't quite make swoosh. it. Um, well, go. Do you want to go? Not really. Okay. <laughs> it is hard. Very good at this game. Oh, do you have to reset manually? Mm. Flicker on certain things. Mm. Like the, the burning barrel at the bottom is, is amazing. Oh, okay. yeah. No, this level's good. The only thing flickering, really, is oh. Donkey Kong. Oops. It's trying to go up that ladder. Maybe it's a fake ladder. Yeah, it is. Can't go up those, those half ladders. And I believe in the real game you can. And that's why it's a work in progress. A lot of conversions to the Atari, they, they take liberties with certain things, like the being able to adjust anywhere in the air. Mm. There we go. Let's see if I can get to all four levels. At least show everyone. <laughs> That's go, lucky. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Very lucky. Okay. It's not. It's just flicker of the Donkey Kong. And the Mario at the top. Ah, oh, uh, slid off it. Usually you fall to the ground, though. Oh, I must have hit something? Maybe. You hit, hit the, the corner, ladder. but that was a little strange because normally you would. Normally that would be an issue. Yeah. I'll wait till I get to the bottom. There we go. Oh, the spring. Yep, it, it jumped oh. twice accidentally. 
It also went right through the bottom uh, platform. But, yeah. I'm going to do the American arrangement, and I think it goes to the... The American arrangement? Yeah. It's so this was the Japanese one you the just one played? The one I was just playing, mm -hmm. yeah. Because they changed the order of the levels. Like oh, the... okay. Oh, that's close. Nice. Yeah. Take a risk. Ah. Oh, no. You can go down, but you can't go... <laughs> That's funny. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. One of those barrels decides to go down. There we go. Oh, it's always the worst part. It's right there. Yep. There we go. It's a very, very faithful transla translation of the game. Oh, here we get to see the, the other level. So in this mm. one, you have to get rid of the rivets, mm -hmm. which destroys the This is structure. what I remember. Yeah, the rivet. The rivet level. I think it prevents the fire guys from coming over, too. It does. Oh. Yeah. Aww. You can hit them with your hammer, but not, not your feet. Not your feet. Yeah. They're very, they're very, um, flamey. <laughs> very flamey feet. Very flamey feet. And, um... This got a notoriously terrible uh, port to the 2600. Mm. So it's uh, ripe for a port uh, for a homebrew. And there's been a number of them actually attempted. Um, and this one's a very good one. Um, it's how faithful it is to the level designs and playability. It's, it's like really, really good. Oh, get the hammer just to see it. Okay, I'll get the hammer, um, because I haven't got it yet. That's true. I'll get the hammer well, on whatever did, level did this is. Well, you did, and then ca caught your, um, feet oh, on fire, so. Oh, yeah. It's not a full hammer. And then some music. Oh. Oh, oh. Is that you a catch glitch? Catch them on the top. I don't think so. I think you can get them like that. Yeah, in the oh, original game, that's too. That's it. Oof, 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 not a good spot. Oof. Oof. Oh, danger. Very dangerous. Oh, there's a bit of a glitch there. Climbing up the side of the ladder. You did? Yeah. You weren't in exactly underneath it? No, I was kind of to the side of it. I climbed on. Uh, not the rungs. <laughs> Still a work in progress. Oh, I hate it when none of them go down the uh, mid ladder. Yeah. It's awful. Ooh. <laughs> I was trying to jump, but I accidentally went up, and yeah. then I was trying to get out of the way. No, I haven't actually completed this level yet. No. It's definitely a challenging level. It is. It's the one that's highlighted in King of Kong as, as like the one he maps out on the screen because of the springs. Uh, because of the springs and, and their so movement. The, yeah, uh, I remember that. Oh, I want to watch that film again. It's going to Stop jumping! Stop jumping! Oh, I gotta watch the pattern. <laughs> Aww. <sighs> Hi, one Atari. Guy, one guy left. Hi, Atari. He's here to play uh, Donkey Kong with us. Are you? Yeah. Oh, good. He'll uh, reach over and hit the buttons every once in a while. I'm reading a book right now that's really uh, interesting and has the chronology of mostly about the arcade, but it has a, a huge section of Atari 2600 consoles and all the companies. It's. Um, What's it called? It's a good question. It's not a fistful of quarters or one of those, no. <laughs> um, I think it's called The First Quarter. The First Quarter. I knew there was quarter in the name. I'm in trouble. Let's see. I think I can stand right here. I think you have to jump onto the ladder. There you go. Hooray! Woo! I completed Good job! It. And she left. And she always does. Oh. So sad. Very sad. So I'll complete this guy and then I will... 
uh, we'll move on to the next work in progress nice. games because there's ten to get through. <laughs> Got three. You definitely have a, a pattern for how you like to get this level done. <laughs> More or less. Come on. There's one on every level now. Fire guys. At least one on every level. Yeah. Can you jump over them? No, eh? I think you can, but they'd have to be going in your direction. Yeah. And you'd have to be very precise. I believe you can. Can I try? <laughs> no. Might as well try. No, I don't. I'll get the oh. hammer. To show what happens here. Well, if, any, if any guy comes on this level. Nope. They're trying to get stay away from me. Oh. oh, there's one guy. Oh, there's just No animation. Yet. Do they normally? I think die? They oh. I'm gonna try and jump over this way. Oh, there you can. go. Get some points. See if we can do a double. There, got the rivet and him. Can I make it? Nice. I think I was running out of time. Made some noise. Yeah. There it is. First quarter, 25 year history. Yes. Yeah, it's it's very thick. And if you want to know all about the early days of the arcade and consoles, mm -hmm. it's really, really detailed and really good. I think I'm about almost halfway through it now. Oh, yeah, I should stand here. <laughs> That was a glitch. Yeah, I don't think I ran out of time yet. No. <laughs> okay, here you go. All right. Thank you for the link, RC70, to the book. Uh, the next game we're going to be playing is uh, a very short game of Ninjish Guy in Low Res World. Because oh, because we played it together. Played uh, it last episode. That's right. Um, but it's good to go through all of them. Yes, it is a fun, fun, fun game. I'll let you so. play it. Okay. Because I played it quite a bit. Unless yeah. you, unless you, you played want me to it try with uh, Erwin last, last stream, too, right? Yeah. Do you want me no. to try and complete no, it with save play. states? I like this. I like this uh, <laughs> it has save states? Uh, yeah, the mm. Stella has save states, so I can go, oh, I'm going to just, before this hard level. Gotcha. Next time I play this, what I'm going to do is save states, because I want to see the end of it. Same with, uh, same with Peril. God. They're just so hard. Because there's just so many levels to get through. So this is uh, Ninjish Guy in Low Res World by VHZC, who also makes a lot of other incredible games. I would play a lot on the show. Duck. Or you can do that. It has duck. Oh, that's right. I forgot about ducking. Yeah. Oh, oh, too close. Too close to the side. So tomorrow we'll provide a uh, a download pack of oh, yeah. all of these games. So they're all gathered together in one place. There nice. we go. Um, so you'll be able to easily evaluate it. Go to the right again. All the way to the right. Jump up. There you go. Extra hard. Thank you. Forgot about that. Yep. And last uh, last stream he told us where there's more hearts as well. Oh, really? Uh, giving out all the hints. And then Thomas Yant said, stop telling him where the hearts are. <laughs> <laughs> save it, save some. Save it. Oh. Erlen, what Erlen did is he jumped just before that. It gives you a little I, bit extra time. You don't oh, but have I did to. it last time. Yeah, you don't have to, but it does. I don't even think I died doing it, so I'm not sure. Uh, I think, anyway. You jump right, but yeah, I see what you're saying. Do you have to be, you, this is one of the hardest ones it to is. get through, actually. You have to, your timing has to be precise. Oh, that's right. It's um, run and slide, I think, helps. No. No? No. Sliding's not any faster. Really? Yep. It moves the same speed. Oh, I don't like this. I haven't 100% verified it, but it looks like he moves the exact same speed. Yeah. <laughs> not jumping there, jumping at the last yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't mean to jump. <laughs> <laughs> Reflex. Whoops. No. 
So my best game on this, I got to the 40th really? non-repeating non screen. With Well, you were there with the hand. Oh, okay. That was the yeah. 40th. Yeah, that was the 40th. And he says there's 40 plus screens, unique screens. So 41? <laughs> we were very oh, close to terrible. the end. Very, very close to the end. Yay. It is um, very. mildly stressful. <laughs> it's very challenging. <laughs> what? Uh, that felt like that was on him. You have to be very precise. I know with you these do. Guys. I know. I remember that. There okay. we go. Now, uh, what Errol and I figured out, the best strategy is to stay at an edge, so that they don't get you on the return. Yeah. Or just jump far enough out. Oh, God. Ugh. This may be uh. where the game ends. <laughs> I did much better last time. I, I didn't have as much trouble, but... Uh... Oh, too close. Okay, I'm gonna turn? play. <laughs> he said he wasn't gonna play, but you've been honing, honing your now, what is the ninja save sky in high res world skills. Yeah, what's the save states? Can't remember. Can somebody quickly type it? I'll look it up. Mm. Sella save states. Hotkeys. Did someone bring in a mouse? Did they? It looks like someone brought in a mouse. Did you bring in a mouse? Oh, you're so cute. F9. That's what it is. Okay. So if I get far enough, I'll press F9. <laughs> You get far enough? Yeah, in the game. So you can, oh, save at that level. And then if I die, I can just go right back to it. Yeah. Did you bring that? I think you brought us a mouse. Did he? What yeah. kind of tiny mouse? Little tiny orange and white one, which I oh, haven't seen in a long so time, cute. so it must have been hiding under um, a couch or something. <laughs> To us? Yeah, it's uh, it's a gift. I wake up in the morning sometimes, and there's toys in front of <laughs> in front of the bedroom door. Oh, it's very very nice. I think it's in exchange for their their, their morning uh, feeding, Food. but <laughs> it's like here's a mouse, feed me please. <laughs> ah, oh no! Ah! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! On purpose. I, that's terrible. That's a terrible game. You weren't going to save there and start no, no, that's terrible. No. It's the worst. Yeah, it takes, it's a little sensitive, so it takes a little while to get the feel for it. Yes. I mean, we played it for a little while. Yeah, you got to the hand level. Did you get to that with Erlen last time? No, I didn't. It's just one of these games where I really want to get far on it. F11, okay. okay. Very quiet out there right now. <laughs> it is. <laughs> They've all left or they're just all watching. They're like, yeah, we know the winners now. <laughs> We're leaving. No, they, they sit there. <laughs> <laughs> Most trouble with. 
It's funny they because you probably kills me more than anything else. So when you jump, you automatically jump a certain height. Like yeah. you don't have any control. You touch it a tiny even bit. though even though you feel like if you hold it longer you should go <laughs> higher, you actually jump the same height every yeah. time. Just... And that's what actually makes it really hard to precisely land on those guys. Yep. Because um because you have to time it. You have to time it perfectly when the landing is happening. And so when you're jumping across, yeah, you can move further ac across and back. You can control your the, the back and forward, right but not now. up and down at all. No. So it's not like old school games where you press jump and you're landing where you land. Yeah. Yeah. Is he playing fetch? I don't know. We'll see if he brings it back. Okay, let's do the F9 here. Don't find this guy too hard. It does take a bit he's of time. He's got a big head to jump on. That's the <laughs> That's why he's actually easier than those little guys. Yeah, the little guys are harder. <laughs> Even though you're <laughs> If you lift the controller as you jump, you go higher. Yeah, lift it up like this. <laughs> that is true. It's a little bit easier with smaller controllers, though. <laughs> if you steer the controller when you're do playing driving games, it does help. A yes, bit. yeah. I was playing, we got a Switch at Christmas, and I've been playing Breath of the Wild, uh, which is a wonderful, wonderful game. But... Well, I'll often play it on the console, but I'll, I'll play it handheld sometimes, and there's a lot of functions in it that, you know, if you're, if you're using, like, the telescope function with the, with the, um, oh, I forget what they call it now, with the tablet, you actually control your perspective, and it throws me off guard sometimes because I'm like, why can't I, why can't I precisely aim or fire at someone? Then I realize it's because I'm moving my hands too much while I'm playing the game. <laughs> uh -huh. And it keeps shifting, shifting uh, my crosshairs. So I'm not actually, you know, I keep missing my targets. So it's just, I find that kind of funny. That is funny. Yeah. Because, yeah, if you have a controller in your hand, that's like, not usually an issue. But when you're actually, like a, when you're, you're using that little um, switch it tablet, it actually, it actually affects what's happening on the screen. So it's so. the complete opposite of what it used to be. You don't want to steer it, but you, you do it automatically. You do it, and it does affect you. Yeah, now, yeah. So it's kind of funny. Especially when you're aiming and shooting. Anyway, great game. Wonderful game. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Yeah. how far I got but I'm getting confused because I was watching you play so much <laughs> right I th ah! <laughs> that one's so close I can't think this I have trouble on too I didn't get to the I definitely didn't get to the hand oh I've only seen it I once I, in one life did I open no, I had trouble jumping over those stupid flames. I don't think I got back from the flames. Oh my god. Sorry, didn't mean to distract you. Um, so I don't think I opened the door with the key. You started over again? Oh, you don't want to lose the lives. Cheaty, cheaty. <laughs> yep. I just forgot to save on a hard part. I should save before every hard part. Yeah. So far it's been... I've been doing very well. <laughs> like this is a semi hard part. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, uh, I think you have to double jump it, don't you? No, you can't. You can't? can't? No. Nope. You can't go from one to three? No. <laughs> from one to three. Not from... Oh, from one to three? Yeah. Maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saved it. <gasps> oh, no. That's really terrible. That is really terrible. Oh, well. Keep going. Oh. 
Can you go from two to the end? Uh, it's just like the flames, you would maybe. think. Maybe. You need your real console back so you can't save yeah. the way to the game. <laughs> yeah. I know. Oh, you can go from two to three. Yeah, because the flames, that's how you did it with the flames. So, yeah. Oh, I love these. I love these fireballs. The color is perfect. I love it. Yeah. Oops. I definitely remember you getting to this one. Yep. The King Kong. Whoa. Oh, close. that was close. James is being tempted by the dark side. Yeah, I am. I'm he really sorry. wants to get to that hand, to get past that hand. Because the hand, I don't even know how to even get past it. Get past that hand. It yeah. killed me instantly. Kind of want to get there with a few hearts. Should be safe stating every level. <laughs> I already messed up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember this guy? It's really precise. I love how he's like, it's like a boat. Floating. He's yeah, floating. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's not hard, but you can you can mess up really easily mm -hmm. on this. I do apologize for my cheating this. <laughs> Jerry Gray West says, Hello all, this game seems like it has changed a lot since the last time I saw you play it. So you must have seen an old, the old Quite version Quite an old it. one. We played it yeah. recently a couple times, and yes. but it has changed a lot. Yeah. A lot of new levels, a lot of mixed... Really fun. Really, really fun. Remixed levels. Yeah. And really incredible level design. Too. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Looks really good. Oh, the fishies. Yeah. I remember this being challenging. Mm, you get lots of time. It just looks manic, but you get tons of time to do it. Just because there's lots of things happening, but it's not really hard. Mm. This is. This is hard. Oh, yeah, I'm tiny. He doesn't zap you. It feels like he should zap you somehow. Guy. Yeah. Like little little laser bolts come out of his This eyes. game's hard enough. Don't give him any ideas. <laughs> this is It's more the visuals. That is really fast, yeah. Nice Good job. <laughs> Safe state. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember this guy being. You have to hit him like three times, don't you? Well, I, I see him as different people, but yeah, you do. Well, it's you have like to hit four, three five. guys or whatever. It, it's very challenging on that side. <gasps> <gasps> Jump too soon. <laughs> oh, you're back! You didn't bring the mouse. Where's your mouse? Oh, where's your mouse? Where's your mouse? Where's your brother? Oh, you can really go fast on these guys. I'm always so, so hesitant. I remember this one being, uh, maybe not challenging? I don't know. Pretty fast. Anything up there? Nope. Ah! Ooh, careful. Sometimes you can actually accidentally fall down. What is this one about? Can you do two? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, you can. Yeah. Good to know. Can I fall you down there? Made it. <laughs> 
<laughs> that would be death. I thought it would be, but since I'm experimenting, I can uh, play around a little bit. RC70, did I hear the name Jared Gray West in the nominee li list? Yes, you, you did. You did. What was it for? Uh, it I will tell you. Jared Gray West. Uh, skim this quickly and probably miss it. Um, <laughs> Spies in the Night 2, Best Music and Sound. I know I saw this. Spies in the Night 2 for Atari 2600 Best Graphics. And Spies in the Night 2 for Best Homebrew. Three nominations. Three nominations. Congratulations. I don't think they were. Yes. Nathan Strum, you could do save states more easily if you set up a foot controller to trigger the hotkeys. Good plan. Let me get my foot pedal out. I have it up there. Uh, do you? Yeah. My, my thrust foot pedal. Uh, anyway. Don't give him ideas. <laughs> that is hilarious. Could have one for save and one for load, right? Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, now what did I do? I jumped at the right time. That's what it was. There. I think you want to get down and then jump over it? Yeah. There. Ooh! Not quite. Save state. Oh, he's very cheaty this time. <laughs> I know you just want to get to the hand. I, I understand that. I do. But, uh... I know. Super cheaty. It's super cheaty. I'll do it properly another time. <laughs> if we do it, if we do another marathon or we, we do a, sh um, a show with all of us playing, which I hope we do sometime well, soon. we would play this one. Because this is oh, well, I guess the ma the marathon. But, marathon would yeah. be better to do it. I've already started building up the the games for the multiplayer one. lives here no no that one looks like it would be a life there or maybe here because it was protected by the guy before maybe but he said there's more lives somewhere mm. there's more lives somewhere he's not giving away giving away all the uh, no. all the tricks usually it's like jumping on something pressing something no nothing there just looks like there would be so now Atari's pushed the mouse. Here it is. Oh, here it is. I don't know how you deal with it. I think maybe because he moves. He moves with you. And it's he moved. crazy. Now, the, the time I got here before, I jumped to the middle and the hand just killed me immediately. Just really? reached up right away. Can you jump quickly to the middle? Like so, jump over really far? Like jump, jump? Uh, like I did really it as quickly? Quick as I could. Mm. So what I'm going to do is jump as he's going down. Oh, oh good job. Not as bad as I thought. Yeah. I just had really bad luck and I only had one life. Yeah. Hooray, new levels. So now I'm not as scared because I thought I would have to do that level a lot. But yeah. now I know that I don't have to. I really like these skulls. Oh, they're moving really weirdly. Are they? Yeah. Up. Oh. They're not. Up. Well, they, they, they pause and then they go up and down quickly. Uh, they pause at different places. Oh, they do! They do! Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's a little bit more chaotic. Oh, I saved it. <laughs> you saved it? <laughs> oh, well. Oh! <laughs> it serves him right. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is a challenge. Just when you thought the hand was too hard, <laughs> get to the next level. Okay, so top, middle, bottom, way bottom. Oh, it goes up again. Okay, then down, down again, then down. Middle, middle, up. top. That's kind of yeah. Except do it properly. One, two. Three. Oh. Wow. Down, down, middle. Top. Whoa! Don't <sighs> jump. And slide too. Top. Middle. Down. Down. down mid, up. Up. Top. Yeah. It's like 
down. Low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like wow. down, down, really low, hurt. high, top, if that makes sense. Yeah. And then from top, high, low, down. It's really weird timing. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, slime can monster. You? Can you in jump on him? Oh, you definitely have to. You probably. Oh. And you can walk in the slime too. Okay, I was okay, gonna say good. maybe you can't. Uh... Oh, oh, here it comes again. Ah! Ooh, he tries to get ya. Ooh, he tries to. I love the animation. Oh my god. He tries to slime you. Oh, good job. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh. You kind of want to see all the levels, I though. I do. Like, it's a thing. Oh, you have to, you have to duck on the lower part. Oh yeah. You have to duck on the lower. And then jump on the top part. Yeah. And then jump on him. Oh my god. I still think you should have thunderbolts. <sighs> yeah, this is. Oh my god. To jump on it, and then right away duck. And don't slide. You have to land and oh, duck. And not slide. Yeah. Oh my god. This is the hard level. There you go. Ooh. Oh, and when you jump, you have to move with it. What is he doing? Uh, no, he lost his mouse <laughs> under the couch. Oh, okay. So he's freaking out now. He says, oh Mega Man god. inspired me with this one. Oh, yeah. Jump and move and then jump on Oh, him. now you have to get back. I will save that. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back's not too bad because well, I can fall down Well, you just have to make sure. It. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You can time. Oh my god, <gasps> you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> that is definitely a challenge. Wow, okay. So yeah. <laughs> this game is punishing you. Nathan Strum. Ah. Oh, oh no. Actually, this is better down here. Yeah. This game is punishing. Yeah, Dan ABC, they did play it on Wednesday and we played it last Friday too, so... <sighs> Which, which you know, is a sign it's a good game. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to stay right here for a second. Jump over it. Uh, what is safe? Nowhere. No. Nope. Oh, no. The, uh, the corner. Yep. That's a safe spot. That's a safe spot. Jumping on that left-hand side is safe. Right there. What left-hand side? What left-hand side? Oh, I'll show you in a second. Oh. Oof. What? I'll show you in a second. I can't really point it out on the screen. Right here, but I have to jump it. Yeah. Now I've... That's not safe. It's safe-ish. <laughs> Nowhere safe. I, I, I wouldn't call that safe. <laughs> safe-ish. But I understand what you're saying. But what's the next one? Uh, the other corner. The other corner. It's the same thing. You have to jump it. Then just run. Yeah. Is this mm. the end? Just go into it. Oh, <gasps> this is definitely the big boss. Oh. For sure. Actually, you know what? There's lives or something here. There's always lives before a boss. It just seems like a weird... I can't jump here. No, really you, have no you, you have nothing you can do but, but go to, go to the boss. Yeah. Maybe, jump. Maybe it was on the last level. Could have been. <laughs> oh well, too late now. Okay, so he fires. Know what you're trying to do. I can't get back up here if I jump off of it. Oh, so you have to keep jumping on him, probably. And avoiding those. Well, yeah, I don't know until you try. Uh, yeah, okay. No, we didn't make it to the slime. No. No. We just made it to the hand. The hand is quite challenging. It's pretty cool. Ooh. Oh my god, that too? You can duck. Okay, that's good. <laughs> oh. You should get one hit on him. Oh, that's why that's there. No, you can't do that. That's why that's there. You can't do that. They know you're going to do that. He knows you're going to do that. So it's like, nope, we're going to clear out that area there. Jump over. Oh, you have to jump over, then duck. I bet it's going to do the same thing. Stay in the corner. Yep. Jump over it and duck. That's how you do it. Okay. Five times? Five, yeah. Oh. 
Whoa, that came really close. That was close. a little close. Might have to jump in next time. Oops. Oh. <gasps> no! Did you start over? Uh. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> I let go, right? I just have to make sure I'm really far over. But I jumped on his head. Oh See? no, yeah, you have to, you have to really smack him right, right in the middle. I like his, I like the look of him. He's great. Again, I'm, I'm digging this slightly fluorescent red color that's coming up. Do you think it starts over? You have to oh, hit yeah. him five times when you I, die? Most likely. I'm yeah. just going to do that anyway. Oh. Oh, he didn't start over. What? He did. He started on the left when I died. Oh. Which was kind of weird. Oh. Hmm. Maybe it's a random choice? Oh, could be. Oh, he's slidey. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Terrible. I have faith you can do it. I can. I'm just making really dumb mistakes. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Dumb, dumb stuff. I'm tired. No? Do you need water or anything? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. I don't know how many times that is, but I think it's four so far. Lots of times. <laughs> Lots of times you have to get them. Was it four times? Five times? This will be the fifth. Two. Sixth. Six. Oh my goodness. It is a work in progress. Maybe this never ends. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's the joke at the end of the game. Could be. It's like, I've hit him 20 times. <laughs> yeah, 40 times in, James is like, what the hell? <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, it's not unreasonable yet because it's not super hard, the <laughs> pattern, but I mean, it's hard, but not super hard. <gasps> nice! That Very is cute! Nice ending. Very nice That's awesome. Not done yet. Oh, Peril! What is it? <laughs> That's your helicopter to get in to go play Peril. Oh, wow! <laughs> Don't die! Nice! And then you play Peril. Nice tie-in. That was awesome. Oh, well done. Oh. oh, that's so good. I cheated those. I wouldn't count it as well done yet. No, but but still, it's nice to it's nice to show the game. Show it off. Wow, that's an amazing beach that suit. Yeah. Excellent. So good. Yep. All right, and how many more games do we have to do? <laughs> Not too many. Yeah. Paper? Uh, yeah, Atari is keeping it warm. So the next game is Penult, which we'll be looking at very shortly because 
or for a very small amount of time because it's a massive epic game. Um, it is a work in progress, so you have to oh evaluate God. on this version, 2019 12 30, which is oh, almost the ident- newest version isn't uh... is not eligible. You can't. Oh, I see. I mean, you can't evaluate it on a newer gotcha. one than the yeah. last one from last year. Yeah, it's not peril. What am I talking about? Penalt. But anyway, Penalt is also in the same category. There's a you have to evaluate it from the 1208 version. 1208. That's why I remade Peril. Yeah. Ah, it's a great, great tie-in. So everybody who's familiar with Ultima, this is a tribute to Ultima. Um, Axa. Your name's kind of <laughs> a weird input so I would go up to oh. 15 and then 5-5 oh. five, five. He's, fi- he's fixed the input now since since making this so this is pen out by Carl Garrison uh, aka Carl G whatever yep. <laughs> so you travel the lands of Penalt and you go into the little castles and there's I? those the guards you're in the middle of the screen oh always oh it's a path gotcha i'm like why am i in the middle of a brick wall <laughs> true it's kind of a downward but three quarters at the same time which language is best for making these games in or is there any kind of simpler ah. game creation software there are two right now there's assembly language which is the most basic you're typing the exact commands the processor can uh that actually they're yeah, there's three actually. There's assembly language, there's Batari Basic, and there's C code. Batari Basic would be the best one to start with if you want to start and you don't know assembly language already. Um, so you can issue simpler commands and then it translates it into um, assembly language for the 6502 processor. And then there's assembly, um, which you can make you know simple games all the way to really really complex games and then if you want to program for the uh, arm chip which allows you to make games like this um, this is one of this is the biggest game I think that's almost ever been done for the Atari 2600 Um, it's 128k uh, using DFSC I think is this using the arm chip i don't know all the different architectures of of, of, i don't know what dfsc is anyway um to use the arm chip you need to program in uh c code which gets compiled uh, and then run on the arm chip and then there's a new language coming out which isn't out yet which is spice c which is made by daryl spice jr which is, uh, be- I believe, specifically made for the ARM chip um, to make it a little bit simpler to program. And VHC, you can also do some simple things for the 2600 with CC65. Oh, I haven't heard of that. Penalt doesn't use the ARM chip. Okay, I stand corrected. It just happens to run on the Uno card, which is why I thought it ran, yep, ran on the ARM chip, but because it... I think the ARM chip on there uses a different architecture. I don't know. I'm not a programmer, and I'm definitely far, far, more, far from an ARM programmer. If I was going to start, I would be um, programming in assembly um, because I know a little bit of assembly, enough to be dangerous. Um, so I probably wouldn't use the Batari Basic, but if you haven't programmed before, I would probably recommend using Batari Basic. VHZC, see, I love the tile set in this one. Yes, so do I. So you can use him as a distant at a distance, the dragon, because he's yeah, got breath. Yeah, it took me a second to realize also, the dragon is on my side. So <laughs> and you have casting as well, oh. and you can cast. Now you want to use breath there. Yeah. Oh, no oh. backwards. No enemy. <laughs> There's an enemy straight up. No, no, you have to be next to it. Not with breath. No, I didn't hit breath. Oh, okay. There you go. But you figured out how to play. So this is an RPG. An expansive, huge, massive RPG. 
with towns and the overland and eventually dungeons as well and castles and people you talk to and weapons you upgrade unbelievable hugely ambitious game uh, made by Carl G who is in the chat with us today um, the last game was made in Batari basic yes Batari basic is also very powerful as well um, it's as shown with uh, Ninja Sky low res world and also uh, peril um, and also Panky the Panda was also made in Batari Basic. What are there some really, really big games made in Batari Basic? There's some really amazing ones that you never think that, oh, it's, it's made in uh, a higher language. But um, there's a lot of really good um, building blocks that are included with Batari Basic that, you're, that are supplied with it. Um, some very powerful ones. Yay! So now you've only got six hit points, so you want to go back to the castle? Yeah. So go left and up, not mm -hmm. to that. That's the town. Isn't that? Up. No. Up. No, not down. No. No, not to that. Go across the bridge to the left, into there the castle, and talk to the healers, which are up and then to the right. See, I don't know these things because I haven't been here before, so. Yeah. <laughs> and talk. Yes, I do. Yay. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Jail. Is that when you kill someone you shouldn't um, usually? I, yeah, you end up in jail. And you have to pay to get out. And mm -hmm. you lose all your stuff. Yep. Yep. So while walking in the land, you uh, encounter random uh, creatures. And you have a dragon, which is awesome. Yes. You have a familiar that helps you right away. Now in Ultima... Uh, the original, you could recruit people from other towns and build up a party of up to four people. In Ultima 3, anyway. And uh, he also... This is the demo version, but in the full version, you're, there's like sh a ship you can get, and then you can sail on the water because you need it to get to certain certain areas. Oh, I see. And sometimes there's things in the mountains that you can't walk to, but you have to get to it by boat and then get into it. Yeah. VHZC this says this game is gorgeous. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Now, there's also an alt oh, alternate mode. I like that. Which has less resolution, but... So more solid figures. Solid, more solid figures. So it depends. I like this one, especially... I mean, right now it's just single color, but in the Overland, when you go to it, you c the solid one gets rid of the color. You shouldn't be moving right now, so use breath. No, no, I, I know. Okay. I try to use a ranged attack, and they're like, you have no ranged weapon. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Okay, so click on that and go to cast. That's yeah, his, I haven't used that yet. That's so. his ranged weapon right now. But you can buy um, a slingshot. Yeah, I couldn't buy it because I didn't have enough money. have to yeah. kill a few things first. So. Yeah. Very fun. My first night playing Ultima Online, I tried to cheat. Putting a thing on my keyboard to, to grind overnight, I woke up in prison. <laughs> that's hilarious. And just the vastness of this game is unbelievable with the um, with all the text on there and the huge maps that it has. And it's when you kill enough um, enemies, actually you should have gone up and then yeah, it's fine. never uh, stand next to a guy like that because... Oh, spell points. Oh, I guess I have to check my points before I start doing these uh, things. Because he can, they can shoot diagonally, but you can't shoot diagonally. Oh, they can shoot diagonally, but, but you, you can't. can't oh. Yeah. Spell points five. I don't even know how much I need. I don't know. The manual's not finished. Yet. That's fine. You can figure it out. <laughs> so if you press a button, go to stats. Uh, your level is not up enough. If you could go to level two, there'd be a star beside it. Okay. And you would go to the queen. And, and she, she would, gives you stuff. Like, she would upgrade. Like upgrade your stats. Hit points yeah. and spell points and Fair things enough. like that. Oh, neat. Very, very well thought out then. Yes. As far as you can go there. Yeah, can't get to that guy. I think that one's a you city where you need a boat. Yeah, I to think get you're right. To. I yeah. think you're right. And when you travel over bridges, there's trolls that can possibly attack you. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. 
so how much gold do you have now? Press the button. Mm, not enough, I don't think. Need 50 for some of these things. So let's fight it? one more time. Well, and just, then buy you just something. wander around until something Pretty much. attacks you. <laughs> but I would stay by, say, the castle. So that if, if you go too far, you'll get attacked. And then when you're trying to go to heal, you get attacked again and you die. I forget what... Oh, let me switch to the... See? So it's more solid. And less flickery looking. But the colors go away. So. Mm. Why is it dark? Because you're in the thick woods. Ooh. So you're busy. Oh, oh rats! <laughs> <laughs> Spinny tails! Oh, see, you can't go back. No. So oh, if you oh, hit wait. the button... No, wait. Uh, go left. Now you can. Oh, no. Press button. No. Press button. There. Mm. There okay. you go. So there is a way out of the menu. I don't know how far your spell can go. Pretty far. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Shadow rat. Shadow rat. Sneaky rat. RC70 is, I forget what they call the mods, but it was cool how there were characters in the game. Luckily, I just got a slap on the rest rather than get, getting kicked out. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Now you're screwed. Now I'm screwed. Yeah. You've committed to it. Now they're lined up. Okay, well, that works out fine. Oops. <laughs> help if I actually do what I'm trying to do. And this is pretty amazing to convert it to the Atari because the, this was a PC game or a, a computer game with full keyboards mm. and you could press tons of different keys for all these different things and he's managed to um, make it work with one button and a joystick. Go buy your Gold. upgraded weapon. So this uh, game works with the... Ooh, yep. That works with the um, Atari box and save key so you can save your game from session to session. Here? No. Uh, it's here. I think it's there. That's yeah. where I found it. Because that's the cheaper place. I think it's the cheapest place to buy weapons and armor. Mm. Each town has more, has like upper upgraded weapons. So you have to know which town to go to. What do I want? Uh, sling, yeah. Yes. So that'll be a more powerful weapon. Okay, so you get the idea of the game? Yep. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. Pretty uh, incredible accomplishment yes. <laughs> for the Atari 2600. Definitely. I would never have thought I'd see the day of that type of game being mm -hmm. put on it. Um, so we're going to be playing Robot City next by Thomas Yench. Um, have you played this one? No, I do not believe I played this game. I love this game. Let me play, because you already played. I recognize the title screen, though, the rainbows. Oh, no, no, I haven't played this game. No? No, I have not. You have to shoot all the four are tanks. Are you a helicopter? Yes. It's making a helicopter noise. Yeah. They're tanks on the ground. Yes, tanks on the ground. I'm a helicopter up above. You can only, you can only mm. shoot them from behind. Oh. Um, that's... The challenge? The challenge. And they Just all... You have to hit him from behind, I guess. Yeah, yeah. they've got a shield all the way around them. Interesting. Down here. Oh, Damn it. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, my it's God. easy to get uh, boxed in, eh? It is. There's different skill levels. Uh, I'm going to start you off on the easiest one. Even this I'm failing at badly. This is there you go. On the high, high levels, yeah. they heal each other. No. They come and rescue each other. Oh, no. Brutal. And some mazes are easier than others, the way they're laid out. And this is a 4K game. So really, really good. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good for 4K. Yeah. Well, I like the, uh, the spacey number. 
Oh, the font? Spacey font, yeah. Oh god, oh god, 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 Ooh. Thank you for turning that very, away. Very, very lucky. Very lucky. Oh, nice. So they block each other. Uh, they can, yeah. So they block you, too. So you have to be careful where you put them, too. Nice. You could block yourself in. Yes, by shooting two tanks somehow. Has Darcy played this game yet? Uh, he loves tank games. I don't know if he has. <laughs> okay, where are you gonna go? There we go. Oh, but he's got that guy there. Oh god. You're in a row. There we go. Oh. Would have been dead anyway if I shot that tank because I would have blocked myself in. They can only move in one direction. That's a big advantage for you. Oh no, 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 no. It's a shame you can't get them to shoot ah! each other. <laughs> um, they can shoot each other. Can they? Yes. If they hit each other and. So if you in are in an area, yeah. If they're two on that side, yeah. And there's a wall, and there's you. They'll they'll just shoot at you, but they might hit the other guy. Uh -huh. Interesting. So I'm gonna switch to level one for you. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, there's, there's only two. Only two of them. guys, and you got lots, lots of lives. You don't move very quick, do you? I didn't pay much attention when you played this. It looks really fun to play. Yes, this is so good. And the scaling up from level one to level five, I think it is. It has a play levels for every level of, of um, ability. Level five is deadly. Deadly. Now there's a timer. Oh mm. no, it's my fault. <laughs> yeah, I took a you risk. You got him to shoot the other guy, though. He shot the guy. Oh really? Yep. I thought I shot him. No. Oh. Rena Foot says this is a good one, RC70. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's really stiff competition in the works in progress category. That is for sure. Oh, nice. Jeez, that took me a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Hope one of them turns. Oh, oh. Get out of there. Oh, I can't go that way. No. That would kill me, right, if I ran yes. into him? Yes, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you just die from their shields. The nice thing, though, is, you know, once they head down a path, yeah. they have to continue going. They don't have turn around mid-path. They can't do a spin 180. They can only do right turns or straight as well. So you can kind of predict. Uh, Jared Gory West says, is this one still a work in progress? It looks pretty complete to me. It is like right on the cusp of being completed. I don't I don't know how much like Thomas Yentz has a, doesn't ever really have a to-do list that he's posted. And I can't remember if he mentioned what else is like really left that he wanted to work on. There was some game balancing that he was um, looking at previously, but I think he's done all the game balancing now. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what else. He was working on the graphics last, that's what he was doing. Um, the helicopter graphics, but it's pretty good now. Oh, I ran into him. Yeah. Now, if you well. notice the this way- This is a challenging uh, maze, this one. Yeah, because they're long, compartmentalized areas. The movement isn't like pixel by pixel. You kind of press and it moves in a chunk and moves in a chunk. So you have to kind of be careful. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh, I just did it again. I'm, I keep thinking he disappears. <laughs> no, he No, he stays. does not. No, he does not. Gregorio says, cool, totally like my kind of game. I would play the heck out of this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And I think this, the levels are like two enemy tanks, then three enemy tanks, then four, four enemy tanks on level three. Oh, that's crazy. Then 
and then four enemy tanks with revival on level four and then level five is like faster tanks and revival i think that's it I, I, he just rejigged them recently so i can't remember exactly but it, it has all the variations in the in the forum in the atari age forum post Uh, RC70 says, I'm glad you're doing quick playthroughs again. I forgot about a lot of them. I'll probably affect my voting. And that's mm -hmm. really why I'm doing this. Because even I forget about some of these because we played them so early in the year. There's a whole year. Oh, that was really cool. <laughs> um, it's like, say, the Oscars, where a movie's released in January or yeah. whatever their range is. And you forget about that movie oh. because it was like a year ago it was released. And some of these, you know, their last work in progress was six months ago. So it's a good a good refresher to go through all the games. Nice. It's not too bad when there's only two. No. One is four is trouble. I love the variety of the nominees. A lot of interesting game concepts mm -hmm. and visual stuff. They're yeah. all very different, and that like completely. is really nice because it gives you. I mean, it's funny because it ends up. If you're voting, it ends up kind of being preference in some ways for the types of games yeah. you want to play. Oh, she turned around. They hit the guy. When they hit each other, oh. they turn around. That's the only time they turn around. Um, yeah, some people like maze games. Some people like space shooters. Some people like platformers. Um, I mean, theoretically, I mean, you can vote however you want, of course. Oh. Careful. But theoretically, maybe you should vote in what is... The best made game? Well, the best made? What Maybe impresses the game you the like. most? I mean, everyone what has... What would you play? What would you buy? Right? Maybe that. Different things that they appreciate in the games they play, too. Different so, criteria? Yeah. So... It would be interesting. It's definitely stiff competition. Oh, yeah. And, and I was saying space shooters, but there aren't any space shooters at all in this whole list of work in progress, which is... I guess people are like, ah, space shooters have been done to death. So many space shooters. Maybe. Maybe. I am, but there's certainly a variety of species to choose from on the 2600. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots and lots and lots. But not a one. There's like uh, Avalanche, which is like a catching game, I guess. Bag Boy, Action, Cannon Head Clash, another Action, Deep. Donkey Kong Arcade, Action ish. Uh, Ninja Sky Platformer. I guess Donkey Kong Arcade's a platformer. And oh, RPG, Robot it. City, Maze. Is there lives in this? Are you done? Are you done? No. Oh, oh. The oh. Level. yeah, I'm sorry. I no, stopped moving. No, it's okay. You still have three lives. Really? I think you gained some. I must have. Or you some started point. over? No, I don't think so. You died a number of times. No, I haven't <laughs> died that many times. I, I don't recall, like, starting the game over, though. Maybe I did. Uh. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was just kept oh, level eleven. So yeah. It's like I said. It's not that and hard. You get, with only you two. And you gained a life. So yeah. yeah. You're just gaining life. I think level one's a little too easy for you. Yeah, I think you might be right. <laughs> uh, the helicopter reminds me of the helicopter in Armor Attack, and the helicopter is made completely with uh, ball graphics. Okay, you're done. Here, let me put it on the hard level. Oh, this is gonna be painful. <laughs> yeah, you should be. <laughs> this is brutal. And this is a bad maze. This is a hard maze. This is a hard maze. Especially with four guys. Like, there's no escape. No. I don't even know where to start. You're, you're dead. I... <laughs> Thanks! You, you literally are dead. As soon as there's two guys that opposite uh... ends. <laughs> I am dead. Wow, yeah, that is a challenge. You gotta get ahead I of didn't... them in this one. I don't know how to get ahead of them. Actually, you can't. It's, it's like a continuous maze. You it's have to go to the left, brutal. all the way to the left, all the way to the left, and get that orange guy. You have to get behind them. Yep. That is easier said than Quick. done. Ugh. Quick. Don't, don't <laughs> freak me out. <laughs> See, now I block myself in. Sure. Keep dying. <laughs> uh, those guys are pretty open at the top now. That's challenging. And you also have to protect um, that dead guy from being resurrected, too. Nice. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh -oh. Yeah, screwed. 
go all the way to the left. All the way, all the way, all the way. There you go. Now you now you can go get him. Because he goes for oh, the... Oh no, lead. the green guy's coming now. Ah! You're, not, you're not too far up. You want him to think you're way left. I don't know if they follow you, though. I think they do. I... I think they do a coordinate. Coordinate. And if you're more left, he'll go left. If you're more up, he'll go up. I got two of them. That's pretty good. This <laughs> <laughs> is really good on this level. He's going to be resurrected, though. No! Oh. <laughs> it's terrible. This is such a bad game. <laughs> Evil, I'm you are. I'm not impressed. Nice! This guy again. Are they like... Oh, no. This is terrible! Go to the bottom right, and then whichever way, go around and get the green. And you've only got one guy left to kill. Thank you. All the way to oh, oh no, he's, he's gonna, gonna resurrect him. him. Damn. Oh, no. so the bottom is the best place to be here in this maze because there's yeah. so many different paths. Chase him, chase him, chase him. Oh man. See if you can get oh, to him no. before. And no. You can do it. Oh yeah, you can do it. Get you bastard. What? Not shoot in the right direction. I know. Oh, don't what? get too close. <laughs> That was fun. Okay. <laughs> That's that is, a fun game. So you beat it on the hardest level and you beat it on the easiest level. Well, when, when I didn't beat it. No. I got through the first level. So next one is Andrew Davies' uh, Sokobu. I think we played this. Yes. We was this a puzzle did. game? No. We haven't played it in a long time. So if you're looking at this on a 40 inch, 46 inch screen, uh, squint your eyes a bit and then you'll be able to see <laughs> the uh, drawing. Mm -hmm. Can you tell what it is? Yeah. Kind of. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this game is made up of, I believe, entirely um, playfield. Hmm. So everything is just lines. Hmm. A segmented of three lines, drawing in three different colors, alternating. It's it's like old CRTs where yep. it's RGB. Hmm. Yeah. So, and I believe everything is done playfield. Oh no, you did other things here. So that's the level, level zero. So this is a puzzle game. Yay, you did it! I think we did it and I it was it did not do very well. What and is this, this is for like um, online high score leaderboards. This is the code you type in. Oh. It's a unique code to you somehow. I, I don't have to research into it. It's not the code. <laughs> it's well it's a tutorial level. Yeah. You push it. There you go. Shows exactly. Oh. Yeah, let's skip that. So you're trying to put the blocks onto. You do have to press for a while. Oh. So that you don't accidentally push. Ah. Uh. And it shows what level you're on. That's cute. Yeah. Really, really good implementation of uh, Sokobot, which is a been made many, 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 many times on many systems, and I think most, mostly on the Game Boy, a variety of ways. And I think this has twenty levels. Sort of like Chips Challenge on the Lynx. It's probably under many, many, many names, and so it counts how many moves you do. Oh yeah. Right. That. And what level you're on, and and it comes up with this code. And so each level has a different color pattern as well. Actually, it's not just made of playfield. Right? The guy is made of uh, player character, and then the rest of it's made of playfield. Play and he is one of the programmers behind uh, Boulder Dash, which this may seem reminiscent of. It is very right? similar. Around. You're not digging, but you're moving around kind of in a cave like area. It's got a four way scrolling screen. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one looks simple, but it's not. Yes, very easy. What's the name of the game where you have to move the board to match the pattern on the side of the screen? Yes, that's a new game. This 
last year, and he's just kind of just started it. I don't think we even did we play it even on the show yet. Ooh, that's a good one for Arena Foot. You might know that one. Yeah. I can't remember the name of that game. Yeah, it is a work in progress. No, we definitely have not played it on the show yet because I didn't think it was like, quite at the point yet where it's ready to be played. That's probably why I can't remember the name of it. It's a good question, RC7. Some of these are like, well, and only have one or two moves. Oh yeah. I think he's really I remember we this. played one and, and it was really brutally challenging Rampant. from like the first level. This is I think he's rearranged the He's levels. rearranged it so it's quite simple to start with, which I think makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Because you kind of get your the D-Train. The D-Train. Yeah. I just logged in. What I missed? Yeah. A lot. Everything. Yeah. This whole list. All the announcements of the nomination results. But I'll be posting it after the show. So um, don't have to worry. Um, did we play it? So you can't. I, I can't remember us playing that game. QB. Oh, well, that is one. But there is another one coming. Um, I, that's probably what you're thinking of, is QB, which is Andrew Davies' uh, game as well. So that's probably the one you're thinking, but there's a new one coming out as well, where there's a little tiny picture on the right, right hand side, and then you have to make the board look like that. But it's, it's a very early work in progress here, right now. Maybe he hasn't even released a binary on that. Hi, Cafe Man 2D. Welcome. Oh, I supposed to. Welcome. Your name was on a bunch of things. I supposed to. You're uh, nominated for DKRK 2600 for best work in progress. And we played it uh, today already. Briefly. Um, that's it for yours. Yes. Unless I'm missing your name on one of these that you contributed to. But you can check it. Because you can't see the whole you can screen. Press the button and move the screen. Oh, you can? Like this? Oh, well, that helps a lot. Things you need to tell me before I start playing. Sorry, this is just a quick overview of the game, not in depth, oh. with instructions and everything. Wow, I suppose it says thanks, everyone. Only have yourself to thank for making a good game. <laughs> okay. Smallest number of moves. That's it for this one. What? <laughs> I want to keep playing. It is good because of the ramp up now. It's the uh, yeah, because I remember us playing it and just like being like, I can't quite figure out what to do, but three boards he's, in, he's it was easing like you in, and it's like, oh yeah, 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 I get it now. It kind of, kind of, uh, yeah. it just ramped up a little fast, but it's not too bad. Yeah, fun game. Yes. Very, very fun game. So the next one is Tower of Rubble by Dianoid, which we played very recently, actually. Mm. Like last mm. show. No, not this one. It was the other one. Uh, the other tower game. Mm. Anyway. This is Tower of Rubble by Dianoid, Dion Ulsthorn. Um, you want to play this one? I think this is the one where you can play two player. Is it? Single player? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we can both play this one. Fun times. I have to remember how to play. <laughs> this is a survival game. Yeah, you have to hit up. Uh, up oh. at an angle. And you can, if you hit down while, while your back is facing, you can hang off of it and then jump to the side to side like that. What's the. Oh, it's, it's making a hole! Crazy. There's no actual button jumping in this game. Is that new? The hole making? Uh... Nope. No, it's been. It's there. always there. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Woo! Uh... Red guy wins. <laughs> ah. Oh, can you push each other? Oh. I can't 
remember. No, you can only block each other. Oh. So if you keep oh. going to the left. Oh, you're mean. You just pushed me off the edge. I can't push you off the edge. I yeah, can but you can you. you can block me. <laughs> oh no. Oh, see, now you're killing me. That's very mean. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, but I'm dead. I'm dead regardless. Oh, I'll be nice to you. You don't. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! No, we haven't played this game in quite a while. Because he hasn't updated it in a while. Oh. I don't think there's much left for him uh, to do on this one. No, it looks pretty close to done. Oh, yeah, you can jump by yeah. hanging from f a two away. Yeah. Yeah, this is a game where you really want to know your moves and what's possible. <laughs> so it's like this? Um, you can go like that? Yes. But when, I'm not mistaken. But when there's a, a space of two. Oh, God. Oh, no! I jumped into the water. Oh, no. Let's see if I can show you again. When there's... Oh, here's the opportunity. So, watch this. I climb down like this. Oh. Not anymore. Held it in. There's one over here. More. I'll let you know if there's one. <laughs> That's okay. No, I, I've seen you do it. Okay. But you just jump back and forth. Yeah, but with a space of two in between, not just one. It's possible. Oh god. Oh no! Oh, I'm Get stuck. I'm stuck. I, yeah, you wouldn't I couldn't have had move. Time. I couldn't move. There was nowhere to go. Yeah, but I couldn't move. <laughs> like, my, my my body wasn't moving at all. It was like I was trapped in those yellow lines. What is this place to five? I don't remember. Maybe. It's a great one-player game and a great two-player game. Oh, uh, not to... Oh. Like that. Yeah. And now you won't let me do it. That's okay. Oh, there. This. Yep. Yep. Oh. And there's, sometimes you'll have to do that to survive. Really quickly. Yeah. It's kind of good to get up because falling down is faster than trying to climb up. Um, and the tactic, I believe, is to stay on the outside because the middle gets destroyed, I think, at first. Well, the edges get destroyed. But then the middle does at some point. Oh, really? And then it gets a bit, it kind of goes like this. That correctly. purple. Ah! Oh. Yay! Three to three. Squish. Nope. Squish. Nope. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Serves you right. It does. It does. <laughs> Sometimes it's better just to stay in your own side. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, uh, no. I think it's game point now. Is it? Four to four. Closest to five? I think it's five. Ah! Stop chasing oh me! God. Oh god. So there's blocks that drop, then there's blocks that crumble away into the water. Yes, on the edges. Then there's lasers that come in, horizontal yeah. lasers. Um, there's also vertical lasers yes. at points as well yep. that take out a whole column. Yeah, the purple ones. Yeah. Lots of dangers, and they ramp yeah. up more I and think more he's added more and more as time has gone on, because it was quite simple to start. It was. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to die! Is there a co-op mode? I don't know. Well, I can't I, remember yeah. if we added a co-op that you both get the points and you both try to survive, but... I I, f I froze. It wouldn't let me climb up. Hmm. Oh, no, it's oh. still going. Is it to nine then? Oh, maybe it never stops. Oh. You know what? I keep getting stuck because I'm not hitting up, I'm hitting to the side. Oh, That's yeah. why I, I keep dying. Up. Because I, I don't think of up, I think right, left. And, oh. and I do that too much. That's too why. many mistakes. Oh, island. oh god, no. Oh, Smoosh. I was going to jump over. Must be to nine. Jared Gray West, it says, For me, 2600 is all I do. Oh, 
The stupid thing keeps popping up. I can't see. What thing? The, uh... The pop-up. Oh, I keep going right Can left. Away? It's so annoying. I don't know why it keeps coming up, because might I be keep moving it to the back. Might be fun to work on other consoles someday, though. Just remember that an account on Atari Age has been rotting since 2015. Time to get it active, mm -hmm. so you can vote on your favorite games. Voting starts tomorrow. Maybe. Still working on the voting app. Um, Al and I are getting it working. Well, mostly Al, <laughs> because it's his form. Um, but hopefully it'll be up tomorrow. It was originally scheduled for midnight tonight Ooh, after the announcements, but I don't think it's going to be ready by then. If you could stand on that or not. Yep, as long as it's not the laser, not lasering you, it's fine. Okay. And this is kind of a tile based game. You can't be half a tile. So if you move in a direction, it kind of finishes. Uh, this is when you want to get to the sides when you can. So that's what you want to do <laughs> get to the sides. <laughs> not like that, but. No, you have to hang. Yeah, you have to hang. Did you? I didn't get a point for that. You didn't? No, I don't oh. think so. Maybe it was too quick? Yeah, that's doesn't, not fair. Doesn't give it to you? <laughs> it's too easy of a point? Maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I was at six. Hmm. Interesting. I have eight points? I want to check that nine. Well, I think it was six, eight after the end of the last game. Hmm. And then you just quickly died. I could be wrong. The tune is hypnotizing me. Yes. Yeah, That's it one is. of the best things about this game is that it's all timed to the music. Love it. Yeah. Like every nominated game is incredible mm -hmm. this year. There's no stinkers. <laughs> Which no stinkers. there wouldn't be. No. No just... stinkers. <laughs> <laughs> no stinkers. That's your version of the Razzies, the, uh, the Stinker Awards. That's right. Uh, uh, this was kind of... Uh, oh, that was dumb smoosh. to do. There was only two and I couldn't even move anywhere. Hey, how, it, how long does this go for? It's to nine, I guess. I don't know. Well, we'll go to nine. Yeah. If it goes to ten, we'll stop. We'll stop. It is, it is very rhythmic and hypnotizing, very meditative. You don't even notice when you're about to get smushed by a block. Nope, you're just having fun, grooving to the tunes, That's and you right. get killed. <laughs> so it's better to stay in one place than to move because you could be caught in half a move. Yeah, I agree. And then you have to turn around and you don't have time really to turn around sometimes. Especially if you're hesitating and not really choosing the right thing the right way. Stay away from me. I need room to move. I don't want to go to my island yet because it's how do you, I'll get uh, stuck. See, how do you go down? You go to the edge, turn around, press down. Oh, yeah, that would explain. See, 7 9. You've won. You've won. Let's go to 10. Oh, no, I'm, doesn't go I'm to done. 10. <laughs> I'm done. I have, to, I have to run out, so. Okay. Oh, he hasn't no, added. No, the next game. He has an added player versus AI. Oh. That's what's waiting. So I'll play single player until Tanya gets back. Now this is just survival. The long, as long as you can and you get a score for each rhythmic beat. Each block that drops. And this is a port of a... PC game that was ported to the C64, but this is a port of the C64 port, I believe. It's modeled after the C64 port, rather than the original PC, if I remember correctly. And he did a pixel-for-pixel pixel remake of the graphics of the animation of the guy. And there's a lot of, like, if you look at the movement of the character, oh, why? It's going down and across. What was I supposed to do? I had no chance. 
Oh my god, it's targeting me. Um, if you look at the animation of the guy, especially climbing up, I can't remember how many frames of animation. I think there's like 12 frames of animation when he's climbing up. It's unbelievable. So incredibly detailed. Like, look at him slink, slink, and jump, and so beautiful of, of uh, character. Portception? Yeah, portception. A port of a port. <laughs> no, no, no! See, that's why you don't want to move. You want to kind of stay in one place. Because to turn around, it takes too long to turn around. pretty much the whole time. He's been a pretty good kitty. Oh, is he sleepy and pliable? He's a little bit sleepy and pliable. <laughs> good. Yeah. Show his warm beige belly. Yeah. I know. This is a great game for trying to get high scores because there's a, there's a pattern, like I was saying to it, where it destroys the middle island and then starts building up the outside islands. Yeah. So you have As to you say, plan it when you get over there, though. Yeah, because you timing. need... Oh. So now it's destroying it as it builds it. Yeah, see, now you can get over there, but you need to have enough space there to... Now I can do it. So you turn around. You do that. <gasps> oh, you gotcha. What happened there? No, the, the green but came down on you. I know, but it just reset immediately. Oh. Maybe I was against holding AI? the button. Anyway, okay, everybody saw that. Okay, so the next one, uh, were Atari programmers really lazy back in the day to bother making games as they're described or and smooth as what homebrews can make? Well, there's two factors to that, is why these ones look so good compared <laughs> to the ones back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. One factor is these people making homebrews have the knowledge of, you know, 42 years of Atari 2600 <laughs> programming. Aww. And also, um, there were cost factors where it's like, no, you got to make it in 2K or you got to make it in 4K. We don't want to spend more. Mm -hmm. You have to scale it down. So, then the third factor is we need it by Christmas. So, you have to finish this by August mm -hmm. <laughs> so we can send it to manufacturing. So, you have four weeks to get this game done. Um, so there's all those three factors go into making it difficult to perfect your game. Now, these homebrew guys, they don't have a time limit. <laughs> they know everything that's ever known well, about twice. It's everything all at, that they, they used to know and yeah. didn't used to know, right? It's all so, at their fingertips yeah. at their disposal. Um, there's no And there's no dead, deadlines. They can make it yeah. as some of these games have taken 12 years to get released. Um, so last game is Zookeeper. I should put the prototype underneath yeah. the actual one. Um, so here you go. You want me to play first? Here. <laughs> oh, there's no David on there? No, I was going <laughs> to say. David left his cup behind from last time. Okay. We played this a lot more than I have. And we played the PS2. Uh, yes, our, we our did. Port Arcade port port, yeah. So now I can compare it to what we were playing on the PS2 version. Why, why are you putting your, your name in, right? I'm not. Oh, why is it? It's buggy. Oh, okay. There's, there's little buggies here. <laughs> it's the first demo release. Uh, so this is Zookeeper by Champ Games. And it's a port of an arcade game. Yeah, I, thought, I think E.T. was done in six weeks. Yes, it was. And also the um, constraints on Pac-Man too. It had to be in 4K. I think he had to deliver it very fast as well. It's all these things that really contributed all together. But some really amazing stuff from the 1980s as well. Oh yeah, some incredible thing from the 1980s. Some technology that's still still used today. Like little tricks that... Um, oh, I can't do corner corners at all. You have to anticipate the next direction when you're at, uh, so you have to start moving left yeah. by the time you get to the bottom. Come on. There you go. And I, stand, I just tend to stay along the top to keep it simple. It's a bonus for the snakes. There you go. It's 
a good way to end this round. The easy round, yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty good bonus. You got like four thousand there. I know. I know the real score is uh, such a is hard time jumping. of this. Yeah. I never thought of ZT as a bad game. Alfie says uh, it's just out of its depth for its time. Not saying it's a good either. The main flow is being rushed and complex. Yeah, it was a very complex game that you really needed to do, uh, read the instructions for. Um, but there's a lot to it. Like, you, it was an RPG. You had to collect pieces of a phone that were scattered all over the place. People were chasing after you. You had to go to the right place to finish the game. And... So floaty. I need to... No, no, I'm playing again. <laughs> that, was, that was not so great. Player one. Yeah, people people say it's uh, uh, E.T.'s a bad game, but it's really not. It's, it's a lot better than a ton of other Atari games. Um, just nobody reads the instructions for it. And and his biggest downfall is its downfall, falling down the pits. Um, because they're a little bit weird on how they work, because you can easily fall back in the pits if you don't know how to hover yourself away from the pits after getting out of them. And if people just start the game without reading the instructions, they just keep falling in pits and they have no idea what's going on. So that's where it kind of got its bad reputation. Zookeeper is an awesome port. Yes, it is. It's, uh... and, and it's really interesting how it came about, is that um, John Champeau was fiddling around... I can't remember what it was on... But he was fiddling around with um, using the play field to draw something. And, <laughs> and it's weird. You, you pass through some of the edges of the platforms and not others. Yeah. And it's very weird. He was using a uh, play field to draw, and he found that alternating, interleaving play fields like this back and forth between two different frames left a line down the middle of, of, the, uh, of the two sections, which resulted in a, a look of a brick. And he, know, and he went, oh, Zookeeper has bricks. Zoo Zookeeper has tons of bricks. And so that was his inspiration for making this game. I can't remember what. What's a Zookeeper's white tool that sends animals back? It's a net. It looks like a, an ax, but um, <laughs> it's a net. Yeah, it's a net. You can see it at the top a little bit better with the brown line. And there, too. Yeah. When it's in his hand, it looks more like a cleaver or something. But, um, when it's by itself, sitting by itself, or along the top, along that bar, it looks... It actually looks pretty good like a net. Oh, during the work on the mappy title screen. Okay, that's where we got it. There you go. He was developing the Mappy title screen and knows the vertical line artifacts. Yes, when he was doing the, the spelling out the name Mappy, because it it was very complex to do it. So it had to be um, um, different frames flashing back and forth. And, uh, Ooh, got me. My turn! <laughs> it's a fun game. It is a fun game. Do not like the platform level, though. <laughs> No, the platform is It's really very challenging. Yes. I think it's just getting used to the feel of it, but uh, I do enjoy the, the running around and, cap and uh, jumping over the jumping over the It's really to get more points. In the in, in the first in the first couple, levels, you don't. Yeah, yeah they're, they're easy to keep in too. So. Aha, it works on this. Does it? Yep. When you half jump over an animal and then jump back again, you can still get the points. So if I jump on the snake and then go back, you still get all the points for the snake. Oh, Not almost quite. got the points Very there. Close. No bonus! Mm. It's okay. Yeah, this is super challenging. I, I think you, you've gotten the, the knack for how to land on them. It's hard. And then once you, once there are too many coconuts on the screen, <laughs> it's, over. it's like you can't even really avoid them. There's definitely some luck going in there. Oh, Damn monkey. It. 
and through playing what the did, arcade. What did they call it on the Wikipedia page? The poor misunderstood monkey at the top of the screen? Yes. Poor monkey. Ugh, why is he throwing it that way? Ah! Now I'm so dead. There's so many coconuts. Oh, look at all the coconuts! Oh, it's so easy to slip down to the bottom again. It is, because you have very little control in the air. Oh, oh. too far. Because you have to land on the platform. Nope, you play two games, <laughs> you get punished. All right, <laughs> punished. Here. Root beer. It's root beer. It's root beer? Yeah. Wait, like root beer pong? <laughs> root beer pong. That's... That's what we played last week. Beer yeah. pong. Beer pong. By EA Smith. And there's root beer and beer. I was watching the PRG footage, saw David Crane in the background, so closely studying the game. <laughs> Funny. Like, How did he do that? It's <laughs> impossible, actually. I want to set it so it looks better. Ooh, is that better? Yeah, because look at the bricks. Oh, I see, yeah. Right? It is. It looks more, um, it looks like it's on a CRT. Yeah. And, th and really, this game is meant to be on a CRT because of that brick effect. Yeah, true. So if you're playing the, it on the, Stella, the definitely... The splitting see. of the colors, the RGB. Damn it! Oh, finally. So in the arcade version, landing on the platform is different than touching her. You, could, you have to touch her to make it count. In the arcade game, but it's the same with this one. Yes. You have to touch her. But you get you get score for landing on the upper platform, That's and it's right. the highest number of points. Again, we were looking at this yesterday, because we were playing it on the PS2. Yesterday? Or the day before? Yesterday, I think. Yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Um... And so if you land on the upper platform, you get the points for the upper platform, but if you land on her first, you don't get the points for the platform, so you get more points by landing on the upper one. Yes. Um, and that's also where we found out about the jumping over and back and getting full points for it, yes. too. Yes. I mean, that's so only really useful in the early stages. It's interesting because this is a port, so it's neat to see that, that John has incorporated that into the gameplay. I mean, I, I don't see why that would be hard. Oh my goodness, there's so many animals. That's where you get the points. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is a points-based game. The combos is really what you want. Nice. Whew. Yeah, all the sound is on a two-channel TIA. I think it, they're all, like, sampled sounds. Like, sampled from the original game. Not, Good job. That was like quick. Like, recreated. Ah. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, damn it. You get stuck there. You have to kind of get close and then jump over it. There. Because if you go... Oh, you have to jump. You have to jump well ahead of it. Yeah. There because you go. Because animals keep coming out. Oh. oh. <gasps> and you Bonus. lose lives. Do you actually yes. lose lives? Yes. Oh so you're God. down to one life. Oh so God, that's terrible. It's, it's not, not a bonus. That's not a bonus round. That's a this ki this is gonna kill you round. I don't consider rounds where you can lose a life as a bonus round. No. What the hell? Not because I want to capture these guys, because I want to jump with impunity <laughs> without having the possibility of dying. That's why I got to stay on the top. Well, it's easier. Going around corners causes a lot of trouble. It does. This is the level that I, I get stuck on a lot. It's really... A lot of meese. A lot of meese. A lot of meeses. A lot of meeses. Why don't you try to force them into the middle to make it a little bit more manageable? Because they come right back out unless you have completed a full... Well, yeah, like, take, take the net and just go around the outside really quickly. Ugh. I guess you don't really have enough time. Not bad. Not a bad one. Mm -hmm. Game bug? No. Which which game bug? I didn't see one. Do -do -do -do. Better luck. Best video. RGB. RGB's good. The best. Best one that retains the uh, the bright luck. Yeah, that one's nice. It's the cleanest. 
Shouldn't you Canadians be good against the Mises? You would think so, but we're not this, in Newfoundland. They're big. Yeah, they're still not around us. Anymore. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, right into it. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. Uh, we're in Vancouver. Not a lot of moose around the Vancouver area. I don't know where they are. We've got some bears. Let's see where moose live. Yeah, lots of bears. Lots of bears. Not so much downtown Vancouver, but outside of downtown Vancouver. Let's see, moose. Probably like ten different types of moose. Let's see if they have maps. I like it when they have maps of where the animals... Oh yeah, it covers us. This map. The moose. Oh my goodness. Actually, it doesn't. No. There are no, there's there are no there's Vancouver here. Island, which is very easy to see. Um, is that Vancouver Island? It's a terrible map. It's like totally not near us, but like, oh, like about, say, 500 kilometers in? That's awful. Yeah. About 500 kilometers west, east of us, there, there's moose. All across Canada. It dips into the U.S. a little bit. I don't know what states those I are. Can't. I am just, I have <laughs> it's such a, a horrible time it's on this a level. hard level. No bears in this game, sorry. There's no bears. There's lions. Mm hmm. Moose in Maine, yeah. Uh, the East Coast, I think they, they tend to have a, quite a few. Right. Yeah. Like, and especially in the Maritimes. It's like tracking you exactly. <laughs> I swear they're heat-seeking coconuts. I gotta I got try it. <laughs> I just, I'm frustrated with that. I want to get used to the... Try to at least get used to the... Or that level? That yeah. level, yeah. This, even this, even the corners make me a little crazy. You're getting a lot better at them. Oh, yeah. So, feel the only other way to play this at home, this game, other than now the Atari, was to either play it on an uh, arcade emulator, or the PS2 has a release of it on, um, what's the company? Oh, Taito. Me. Taito Classics on the PS2. But, I noticed when playing on the PS2, there's a lot of slowdown on the higher levels. Atari, no problem with this. No slowdown whatsoever. Steady 60 frames a second. Cafe Man 2D says, P Pennsylvania, PA, has elk, no moose for all I know, lots of coyote. Coy Coy wolves? Coy coyotes? Wolves. Coyotes and wolves, I guess. Mixed together. They could be interbred. Eastern coyote, actually. Maybe coyotes and wolves. They're pretty close, I guess. What you're doing that makes you get to the top so quickly. I remember you gotta playing go. it. You gotta go immediately to the top. Like, boom, Yeah, boom, but boom, I can't. Boom, boom. I can't land on these. You, I, like, almost double jump on some of these things. And then I get hit by a coconut. Because if you hold down the button, you do actually double jump. You do. Yeah. You have to be very... Uh, maybe that's my problem. See? I run right off. Oh, that's terrible. I want to just practice that over and over again. Oh, we have it upstairs as well now, so yeah. play it upstairs. <sighs> it plays exactly the same. It does, yeah. I can't notice any real big differences. I'd have to really analyze. I did notice that he jumps. Oh, I'm gonna try it in the next level. It's over. He jumps just a bit past halfway mm. along the top, so yep, it's exactly the same. Is, well, that's pretty good actually. Why is it a thousand? Two thousand. Three thousand. Snakes are worth more. Yep. Yep. Yes, a mix of coyote and wolf. Oh wow. TGS had a special about them. I almost ran one over my car the other day. Oh. Big white gray coyotes. Wow. wow. That would be bad. We have, we have, coy no, coyotes? Tons of coyotes. Yeah, yeah. Tons of them. I had never seen a coyote before I moved out here. They're cute. They are cute. Don't mess with them. Though. No. They're wild animals. They're wild. Uh, yeah. They're like Grew up dogs. in Ontario, like so... Yeah. 
not a lot of coyotes out there. Lots of deer, though. No moose in Wisconsin. Lots of deer. Lots of deer. Yeah. Not too much deer around here. No, I. But in my, general, there's deer. My university was on a like parkland that followed a river, and you 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 know be out early in the morning they'd all be grazing on the on the grass and there were tons of them because they kind of come down from the north and it was in the middle of a suburban area so we had so many so many deer and foxes red foxes foxes are so cute so foxes cute here, don't think Lots of trash pandas, though. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> trash pandas galore. <laughs> so much trouble on this level. Wouldn't be that hard. And skunks. A lot of skunks. So many skunks. Yeah. In the skunks are cute. Trash pandas are cute. A little vicious, but yes. Yeah. Well, don't corner them. Let no. them be. Especially them if there's things. mummies and babies. Oh, mummies and babies are anything. Yeah. Mummies are vicious. <laughs> That's a good tactic. You just keep jump, 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 yeah. jump, jump, and you won't yeah. die. You won't die because you'll just send them. To awesome. Them. I think slow and steady. You know what? I'm push. I'm holding the button, and that's why I keep running into issues. I'm not going jump, jump, jump. I'm hitting it, and then I'm double jumping, and I'm falling off, or I'm over, overstepping. Did I do this alive? I do. You oh do. I told you. That's it's terrible. Terrible for a bonus level. You have to kind of get over it right away. Can you earn one? How can can you retain your? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not earn one. Oh my God. Retain your ass. The Mises are back. So why don't you come up with an all Canadian zookeeper edition? <laughs> Beavers, moose. Oh. Yeah, they could they could make different versions of it. He's pretty so cute. hard. I'm trying to think what else. Level. Beavers, moose, deer, bears. Need some black bears, some brown bears. Different fish. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Weird stuff to have. Lots of salmon. P.I.O. sir. Wood duck. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, the level's so hard. Loony, loons, loons. You, you can have some loons quacking around. They can be the slow moving animals. <laughs> beautiful game. Very beautiful. Um, and there's a uh, novice. Novice standard advanced. Novice is really easy because they don't send as many things out at you. Mm. Um, done. Sure. Okay. <laughs> was that number ten? Yeah, it was number ten. I guess it was a Z. That would be yeah. the number ten on the list. Atari, did you have fun? playing all the works in progress? Did you? Well, I yeah. think he did. He's been with us the whole time. It couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> no. Um, so we played all the works in progress, the 10 games, mm. Avalanche, Bag Boy, Cannon Head Clash, DK Arcade 2600, Ninish Guy in the Low Res World, Penalt, Robot City, Sokoboo, Tower of Rubble, and Zookeeper. And then on Wednesday, we will continue on with playing through yes. the games. Um, what are you playing with Erlen? Well, we're going to just be playing all the, uh, like, non-work-in-progress 2600 okay. games. So and we'll just get through as many as we can. Because there are a lot of doubles. A lot of doubles. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's some singles as well yeah. that uh, are outliers. Yeah. So we'll probably... Are there any you haven't played that ended up on the list? Oh. Have you played all of them, or are question. there some unusual ones that, that you would know because you're at all of the streams, so... Let's take a look. Because uh, those are the ones you should play first, because obviously... There's ones that are on, only on cartridge. Yeah. That I can't play. Jay Walker. Never played that. No. Uh, Rally Racer. Never played that. It's only on cartridge. Um, Spaceman, Spaceman Splorf uh, is only on cartridge, but they sent me a copy of it. Oh, that's nice. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's very nice. Um, played all that. Can you at least show the games? Do you have clips? Yeah, I have video, so okay. I'll be able to show well, that's video good, of it. At least. You, can, you can get a, a look at all of them. Never yeah. played Arcade Pong. Hmm. I haven't played Evil Magician Returns 2 because I believe that's only on cartridge. I haven't. Yeah. I've not played that. Um, 
BitQuest 2? Yep, played that. You played that one? Yep, that's a fun little game. Uh, don't uh, think I've... Is... I mean, I, I certainly haven't because I'm in one of every four. That's it. So. Just three? Did yeah. I name three off or two? I think three. Mm. Three games I haven't played. Nice. Uh, Arena Foot, I think I have Jaywalker for Ooh. you. Oh, okay. So we can fill that part in. Um, yeah, so there we go. It's just one or two then left. Excellent. I think we do have... I noticed those ones are, are in... Well, they might be in other other it, categories, but they were in the the um, the packaging category. Yes. So definitely you can show off the packaging at minimum. It'd be That's nice right. to show the game or at least show some, some footage yeah, of the game. Yeah, let me just check if I have Evil Magician Returns to it. I'm pretty sure I do. Mm. I just never, have never played it before. Um, so if anybody's tuning in right now, at the top of the show, we went through the full list. And I'll be posting it into the forums um, after the show at some point. And then tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow at some point, the voting will start. Mm -hmm. Schedule will start at midnight tonight um, in uh, three and a bit hours. But... Uh, Al is still working on getting that ready, mm -hmm. um, so at some point it will have happen. Do we? We do have Twitter. We have Twitter. We have Instagram. We have Facebook. We have Twitch. What's your? It's all zero page homebrew, no spaces. Zero page homebrew. All of them. Just all. That's all of nice. them are all the same. <laughs> That's it's nice, nice when you get that. Actually, Twitter is not because zero page homebrew is too long, so leave off the W. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? It's too long of a name. That's funny. And yeah. I was thinking, well, what what am I going to do? I'll just leave off the W. <laughs> it's better than leaving off one of the words and yeah. doing some abbreviation. Yeah, at least it, at least if you look it up, you'll find it kind of thing. Mm -hmm. oh, so if you want to follow on Twitter, I don't post as much as Facebook. So, but I post the really important stuff on Instagram or things when we're away. We, I usually post on Instagram and Twitter when yes. we're at, when we're out at conventions and yeah. things and yeah on vacation at arcades or stuff like that yeah what's the link to your twitch it well you're watching it <laughs> so <laughs> it is twitch.tv uh, forward slash zero page homebrew or just search for zero page homebrew spaces no spaces it'll all get there mm. um good stuff yeah so thanks everybody for exciting. watching yeah uh it's fun going through those games again after not playing them for a while yeah and uh fun revisiting where, where is the chat oh my god it closed down the chat somehow you closed anyway, down the chat it's over here on it's the, on still the streaming though right no just the chat just the probe with the vid that just the chat it's but it, isn't it on the stream that's going no out? it's not on the stream it's nothing to do with the stream yes. it's independent i believe or is it what i'm confused yeah it's independent no it's there that is not the chat I can type in. No, the no, okay. The chat on the screen that yeah. I can type in. No, I didn't realize, that, but I thought yeah. that I thought what you were saying was the chat dis disappeared from the stream that you were oh, broadcasting. No, the screen, not the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so thanks everybody for tuning in. I'm gonna have to. I can do this. Yeah. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in and watching <laughs> the show and the nomination announcements. Uh, we'll continue on with uh, more on Wednesday and playing through some more. I mean, we announced them all, but we'll play some more. Um, I'm looking forward to playing through the entries. Yeah, there's a lot to mm -hmm. play. Dozens. Dozens yep. of games. It's a good excuse to play a whole bunch of homebrew video games so, in the next two weeks. <laughs> yeah. And when the polls are up, I will announce it in Facebook so you don't have to keep refreshing the Atari Age forums. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll post in Facebook and Instagram and everywhere else so thanks everybody for hanging out yeah well, so what is the day you're thinking of taking the polls down right now so people know scheduled they go down into the 25th the 25th okay but most likely there'll be a day added if it takes a while if it takes yeah. too long yeah if it takes like an extra so day so what you want to put in your calendar is vote by the 25th and if it's yes. if it's extended today then you're just lucky but bonus time yeah Bonus time to play the games. But you now know all the games, so you can now play all the games, and you can now make your decisions on which ones you want to vote for. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And we'll be playing through them as well if you don't want to play them. <laughs> you can just watch us play them. That's right. <laughs> um, so thanks for hanging out. Carl G., Ice Bosta, Dan ABC, Jared Gray West, Arena Foot, RC7E, Afi, 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 I don't know, Afi. Welcome, Afi. Afi. I think it's your first time. Because <laughs> he's asking, where do you guys have Twitter and Twitch? Uh, the D Train 37. 
uh, Cafe Man 2D, Nathan Strum. Uh, How far back? Ice Poster. Posta. RC7E. Dan AVC. Yep. Jared Gray West. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that were here today that... Oh, Spindly 1970. Excellent. VHZC, that's the one I was thinking of. Uh, who else? Oh, this goes way back. I think that's it. That's as far as it goes back. Mm, Carl G. Carl G. This is fun show. Looking forward to playing through those entries. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jared Gray West, good show. Looking forward to voting. So am I. So I can vote too. <laughs> um, yeah, everybody get out there and vote. When it goes up, I'll let you know. Hopefully before Wednesday, <laughs> that's for sure. That'd be terrible, terrible. No, you'll get it. You'll get it sorted. I'm sure, no later than the end of the weekend. So. And now that the nominees are announced, I can start working on the videos for the award show. Yeah. Yep. And the rest of it, just don't know who's going to win yet. That's the only thing I don't know yet. Mm. So I can finish off the intro, which is almost done, and then finish off the middle bits, <laughs> and pick out. The, what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> Have you picked out what you're gonna wear yet? No, I think so. Okay. I think I know what I'm wearing. Yeah. I might. It. I reserve the right to change my mind. But <laughs> the very last second. At the very last second. Vote early. Vote often. Yeah. Well, vote once. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so thanks uh, again, and we will see you on Wednesday next. Mm -hmm. And just keep watching all the uh, social media for when the voting opens, or just keep looking in, in the forums, mm -hmm. in the Atari Age forums. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching, and we will see you on Wednesday, and we'll see you on the award show. Mm -hmm. Right? I that's guess that's my time. next one. I've been here more frequently than normal because Darcy couldn't make it last week. So, yeah. so, so I, we'll I feel like I got my I got my in, my extra, my extra. Yeah, show in. Show yeah. in, so yeah, excellent. And actually, we'll be going through entries with each of the the co-hosts it's be you yeah. and then Erilyn, then darcy which is and perfect. then we'll all be back that's right for the award show yeah and we'll first, memorize february 1st the pronunciations Should. of all the people's names before we watch us <laughs> or try to yeah. yeah yeah okay we'll figure it out bye bye everyone <laughs> bye. see have you next on wednesday have a good weekend bye bye bye